Hello, all you salty bitches. <laughs> it is your gamer. Back at you with another Minecraft Let's Play. Just kidding. It's Baphomet. And we're going to be getting right into it with my fellow gamers. I'm very concerned about what they're going to be talking about as soon as they come back. Alright. So. Last session, we had the introduction. Last time on... Sorry, this isn't a Shonen series. This is like... Hmm. Is it a Shonen series? This, is, this would not no. be a Shonen series. I think this would be like Shonen, probably. I don't know. We don't have a bunch of what anime we... protagonists here. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I got drunk enough to join me fucking... Oh, no, wait, never mind. Alright, let's start going, boys. Yeah, uh... In regards to... Uh, sorry, no, I was actually responding to someone real quick. No, his, his brain just kind of stopped. My brain did stop. Last session, basically, uh, you guys met with your handler, uh, good old-fashioned yeah, Michael Morningstar. He had a quick meeting with you, and you were given some documentation uh, regarding uh, murders in yeah, the town of La Rochelle, and you were told, well, fuck, let's go say hello right so then we went gambling and then you guys went yep. to the room to prepare for the night and also you went and got yourself some gambling done and money yep got some currency well no i paid for dinner via gambling oh yeah sorry yeah you paid for your dinner via gambling <laughs> forgot about that hey I'll, i'm gonna consider that a win Consider that a win? Yeah. Free dinner. Hmm. Alrighty. So. Uh, soon enough, uh, after your long night of gambling, you all awaken from your slumbers at whatever time you guys desire. It's now day. 2 a.m. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock sharp, are we talking? 2 a.m. Uh, well, you wake up at 2 a.m., Joker. You realize, oh, fuck, it's 2 a.m. And then you go back to sleep. Yep, okay. I went up at, Glad we were on the same wavelength. So what's the time that we need to be up? You don't need to be no. up at any time. You guys hadn't coordinated that yet. I'm going to wake up at standard standard time, which is uh, 6 in the morning. What the, who the fuck kind of standard is that? The military standard. The military at 5 a.m. is the military standard. Fine then, I wake up at 5 a.m., cow, because you know more than the Sorry, boys, but that's the standard. Sorry, man. I wake up at I wake up at 5 a.m. Yeah. I wake up at 6. I, I don't wake up at 5 a.m. I wake up. I wake up. You wake up? I wake up. It's right. 5 a.m. So, are you gonna? Is anyone gonna wake each other up, or should I? No, no. I uh, wake up? I'm gonna, I'm gonna wake up. So All right, it's 5 a.m. I'm going to take a shower for 30 minutes. Jesus Christ. That's fuck. All right. I'm an old man. Hey, listen, man. 30 You're minute showers are bad. Shower. All right. 30 crying. minute showers are great. All right. I'm going to take a shower for 30 minutes, mostly because I'm old and I can't figure out how to work it. for a water bill. Will they? No, at the hotel. You... <laughs> Fool. Yeah. You might have limited hot water, though. Uh, well, I'm only going to use it once a day. <laughs> He's going to cold shower so he can cry easier. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, really, though, I'm going to say 20 minutes shower at max. And then, uh... So that, I'm going to just skip 10 minutes ahead, so it's 5.30. Does anyone else wake up by 5.30? Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. Too bad. <laughs> Alright, so what are you going to do? I... Whose rooms if... were next to who again? Uh... I... I'm next to you. We both... Me no, and... you're not. I'm on the corner. Oh wait, no. I'm next. I'm adjacent. You're next to Carl, and you're next to Juzo. Yeah, I'm adjacent to Juzo and next to Carl. 
Or opposite. I think I'm opposite of Carl and G next. No, I'm opposite no, of shoes. Three are all on the same side. Oh, that doesn't make sense. What? Yeah, it's but, a long building. But why are you? Because I'm on a. Because we were next to a corner. Ah, oh, that's fair. Okay, I'm no longer gonna gonna question. So it's five. It's five thirty. I'm yeah. going. I'm going to wake up. Uh, I'm gonna for. Okay, let's think here. How do you roll dice again? Is it, R, is it slash R? Slash roll. Or you can use the dice on the side. And then <laughs> Fucking Iffy on. just called me? What? No. What do you want? Okay, Cal, I'm waking you up first. I'm sorry, brother. You can try. <laughs> I'm going to knock on, on Joker's room. There is no response. I'm going to knock harder. There's no response. <laughs> I'm, I'm Until going... it is not qualified as a knock, it will not wake me up. I am... I just, I'm gonna spend... <laughs> I I'm, gonna, the door. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spend 30 minutes knocking on this man's door. After about uh, three, uh, a man walks out in underwear and a wife beater, and he starts yelling at you in French to go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's not me. Too. Is this not Joker's room? No, no, he comes out from the uh, the room next door. Uh, ah, désolé, monsieur. May uh, je dois. You said Which words, is, um, and I, 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 I just said I'm sorry, Mister, but I must. You must go to sleep. <laughs> no, I must. You're about um, to get beat. And no one's gonna come save you, your sorry ass sixty year old man. Uh, uh if you keep continuing this on, wait, old no, man, you silly, will end right? up in a in don't, a ditch outside. They, aren't they like super respective to their elders? This is France. Uh in oh, France like, actually they well, do care they're actually kind of respected towards their elders. And the Wolf one is French. No, he's Belgian I'm... actually. I, there's no ethnic. I just spoke French in a fluent enough way that uh. Yeah, I know. There's no real ethical ethnical difference. Actually, wait, no fuck. I have a northern accent. I will be discriminated against. <laughs> uh, there's, there's All right, whole... never mind. You can you can fucking yell profanities at this. Go the whole... fuck to sleep, you old ass man, or you will end up in a ditch outside. You old ass or northern man. You old ass northern man. Like, Old ass northern boy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk away from Joker's door. Okay. And uh, go find someone who's probably more likely to wake up. Okay. And by that I mean uh, anyone else. Juzo. So you're gonna go to Juzo's room. Yeah, I'm gonna lightly knock this time. What time is it? It uh, is. I was. It's about five thirty-two. It's about five thirty-three. All right, five. Th uh, oh yeah. Three minutes. You, you hear no response. <laughs> these days. Do you want <laughs> Kids these days. <laughs> Stop being a boomer. They have fucking kids sleeping in. I'm gonna return. Why to did my... you get up early? You're an old ass man. Well, the old people actually get up really early. Yeah. Old people get know. old people get I up do. really early because uh, they can't control themselves. They just have to get up. It's just the way life is. That's what people say. I've never met my, my grandmother is always it, it awake by like up. two in the morning. Uh, I'm going to return to my actually, you know what? Fuck, I'm going to knock on Carl's door. Okay. No, so I'm going to. And we gave up on you. For me, no. <laughs> three minutes of knocking. You said I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to knock on Carl's door lightly for three minutes. No response. Oh my motherfucker! Light knocking isn't gonna wake anyone up. All right, that's, that's it. not next to the door. That that's it. That's it. Goes over here. Where's my lock picking stand? <laughs> Just gonna no, break and enter. Really. Um, break and no. enter to a fucking casino bar. Sure, buddy. I'm going to. Uh, you want to go down there? Go, I'm gonna go back to my room and lie in my bed in pain for the next twenty minutes. Okay, you wait another 20 minutes. It is now around 6 a.m. 
That's when no, I wake up. it's five fifty. That's when Carl wakes up. I wake up at six. All right. All right. Carl, you know. awaken. The you old feel the... man has three has three minutes. Sorry, and then you wait another. You wait. You seven minutes. You wait another seven minutes alongside that thirty minutes you or so you waited, and then you realize, fuck. I'm Lord, sad. Is, do I realize anything other than fuck? <laughs> no. No. Uh, no, you just Carl, realize fuck. Carl, you awaken and you feel the strange sense that somebody had been knocking on your door a while ago. However, you're not sure who or even if that's a real feeling. I'm gonna grab my gun and look through the people of the door. You looked at people and there was no one there. All Darn it. Right. Like, All right. Still holding my gun behind me, I'll peek out. No, the hallway, he waited down outside of his door. <laughs> Sorry, Leon's our, Leon's leaving again, unable to continue laying in bed. Okay. Uh, so he's out in the hallway again. You see uh, Leon walking out of his room, and past your door. With tear marks down his face. Let's go back to my room and close the door and just. Take a shower. All right, all right. I thought you were gonna say take a shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk in and join him in the shower. No. Shut up. He does. Do I have permission to just shoot him? <laughs> that yes. is, that is legally probably. Yeah. No. They're breaking and entering. All right. So um. I don't think France is a stand your ground state. So uh, uh okay. Leon is going to actually go down and see if there's like, I don't a care. We're from open. Texas. Uh, the, the, cafe, the cafe, the continental breakfast, does not open until seven. There's no such thing as a continental breakfast in America, in France. You get my point. The cafe oh, yeah. does not open until seven. This is does it? Alternate. Does it on God? Does it on God? Don't breakfast. It... I, I. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> like, does my understanding of French like? I don't know like about small, French culture. It's, it's small. It's small breakfast, big lunch, small dinner. Bro, we don't need to go into this. No, no one sorry. cares. No one asks. We're moving on. Seven. Shut the buffet is not open. Cringe. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I, I committed myself to waking up this early. I, I can't do anything other than wait. Yes. So do you return to your room, or are you just going to, like... What, what's your plan? I don't have one. I'm six years old and probably I'm going to get dementia within the next five years. Five years? Oh, I was going to say five months. Five hours. Five hours. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was I doing again? Early onset Alzheimer's. <laughs> Whose cat is this? Uh, what's the dementia music? Anyways, uh, I'm going to return to my room. Okay. And um, For a third time this morning. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to return to my room. He doesn't know he's done it before already. I'm gonna, I'm gonna return to my room and uh, spend time. Which one's your room? So uh, I've got. Yeah, please. You've activated. So I was, I was given a nine. DLC. I was given a 1911. So I'm gonna spend uh, time inspecting and cleaning it. Got it. He's running into a fucking housemaid. It appears to be pretty much brand now. Pretty much brand new. Uh, pretty much is not exactly brand new. Has it been shot before? Yeah, it's been field. It's been like tested. You could tell it's that just it's field been. Tested. Yeah, it's been like fired before, making sure that it works, and that's about it. Does it have any form of identification? It or has it a like... serial number. There's no serial number. Sorry. There's no serial number. They've they've removed it. There's a serial number. Why would there be what a is... serial number? What is the serial number? I fuck if I know. Why why would they want the gun to be tracked? Are we even the like legal owners of these guns? They just kind of gave them to us. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, did we just abuse a gun show loophole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn. Well, I feel like I've spent long enough in the shower. I'm gonna hop out and get dressed for what I wore yesterday. <laughs> I like how you address the wolf. You don't want to take another 20 minutes in the shower. <laughs> once, he shat, once, uh, once Carl was satisfied with his shower, he got out and got dressed. Oh, man. You got dressed before going out? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm gonna shove the. Leon the didn't door. remember to do that. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, you know, just tuck the 1911 into my, like, you know, <laughs> fucking the pants back pocket, of my pants. ready to <laughs> shoot. No, not, Leon. not even pants pocket, just like you know, into it, the pants. It's like, just into know. his the pants. The 1911 is stored in the balls. And then, like, you know, throw my jacket over it so nobody can see it. The 1911 is stored in the balls. And then... We should be glad that it's I'm cold a, out. I'm gonna I'm a be a cunt and just start go knocking on, like, everybody's doors to wake them up. Like, you know, Juzo and, um... So you, you, gotta, you, you also don't... You know I'm awake, but you're probably gonna... You should probably knock on my door anyways. No, fuck you. So no, you're gonna go to Juzo's door? He he saw you I'm outside, so you know he Who's closer, to Juzo? Juzo is... Cool. No. Uh, Juzo's next to you. Juzo's next to you. Uh, yeah, and right. I'm one removed. Okay, so I'll just go to Juzo's door first and like, you know, give it a knock to see if I get a response. What's what time is it? It's like six twenty at most. Six twenty, six twenty-five ish. He's been crying in your room for twenty minutes. You don't. You don't hear a response. I'm gonna start viciously beating on the door until <laughs> Juzo answers it. Um, about a minute later. A ma the man from room one <laughs> walks out, looks at him in a very, very, with very, very mean eyes, and starts yelling at him profusely in French. How loud? Flash your gun, flash your gun. Uh, very visibly, very loud. It, 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 it's, uh, it, would, it, would, it, would it be loud enough for a 60-year-old man to hear him? I don't know, but I know no, that... You're, you're no. hearing a... Thin no, I'm sorry, can I roll to hear? Uh, roll perception. Roll perception. Any with uh, disadvantage. And, and roll now has a minus five for perception since he's now senile. Roll with Shut a up. minus minus uh two. But I've I. But I'm a hearing the... aid in. <laughs> Is perception, intelligence, wisdom. Wisdom. Okay, so a minus, so it's just a minus one. Maybe I don't know. Fourteen. All right. Congratulations. Do I hear? No, I you hear. You hear this right. uh, man yelling in French about how this strange American pig dog needs to go back the fuck to sleep. Uh, okay, so, Le so like, Leon, you American yeah. pig dog, you oh, need to go back to sleep. You fucking oh, Leon. Invade. So Leon, despite really not caring for either of the Americans, realizes that they're uh, that they're the ones getting yelled at. So he's gonna he's gonna leave his room and join in the yelling match. Uh, so he's gonna start yelling at, at the, the other American Frenchman. Or... <laughs> yes, at, at no, at the Frenchman. He's gonna say like, um... "Oh, you fucking pig dog, you bitch! I will fuck your mother." No, I'm trying to think if I can say it in French, and I'm just not gonna try to. He's gonna be like, uh, "Lay off the American pal. Uh, they're dumb. Leave them alone. They're dumb. They're dumb. They don't understand it." I am factually <laughs> dumb. This is true. Uh, the uh, the other Frenchman starts yelling back. These fuck. Oh, you are with them. You are fucking disgusting. Disgrace to your country. Fucking northerner. Get out of here, you dumb gun. git. I'm gonna flash my gun. You're gonna this. flash your gun. He uh, quickly uh, realizes that. Oh fuck! This man's a strange, <laughs> illegal American man Actually, walking during, around with a gun. During all of this, I walk out with my gold chain and my fucking giant ass fur coat. And I, I'm not even hiding my uh, python. I'm just carrying it. Like, yeah. what the fuck is happening? Yeah, no, at this point, uh, the man has retreated back to his room out of fears for the strange American with the cowboy hat uh, who just flashed a 1911. Oh, now I'm going to hide it and start beating on the door again until Juzo answers. <laughs> I'm gonna, sorry, I would like, I'd like to assist in this action. <laughs> I'm gonna start assisting too. <laughs> yeah, three people are now. Okay, uh, can you guys uh, all roll? Uh, wait, no, no, before anything strength. else. Yeah, can you all roll strength for me? <laughs> strength with anything else. Strength with plus melee or just strength? Uh, plus melee. Plus melee. Hold on, I need to open my dock. I don't know my stats. 11. So I get a plus. Don't, don't worry, don't wonder why this man has a plus 2 in strength. Yeah. I also got an 11. Oh, two elevens? Uh, hold on. What do I need to roll? Uh, melee. Which is based on strength. Melee? I don't have melee. Wait. Okay. Uh, it's minus one. Or d20, bitch. So, eleven. Fifteen. Wait, you're actually using the software? That's surprising. Uh, Bro, so I... Eleven, eleven, 
15. 15. Okay, so. The beating is very loud. It sounds like the hinges are about to give out at literally any moment. Is the we'll Juzo, uh, there's what no time? way you don't wake up from this. <laughs> what, what time it is it? Sounds it's like about 6.30. It sounds like that your door is getting broken down. No, I, the... I, want, I woke up at 6.30. Fuck you. It's 6.45. It, it, it's about 6.35. Yeah. Juzo opens his door, and then... I, I continue knocking in... even after it's open. I want to punch Juzo in the face. Okay, roll melee. I just did. A separate melee. Why? To see if you can actually Juzo hit him. The face. I'm continuing the same action. Uh, Juzo roll dexterity? Uh, alright then. Oh, wait. Fuck, I forgot to pull up. <laughs> oh, it seems like have very important it. things to have, so, like, prepared. Yeah. Jesus Christ, your dexterity's high. Mine is too, but I didn't get to use my dexterity, so. Nope, this is not a finesse weapon. Your fist is not finesse. <laughs> your fist is not I, finesse. Would, would my gun be a finesse weapon? Yes. <laughs> I can beat people with finesse? With I'm gonna start fucking pistol whipping on the door. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I learned that fucking a gun is pistol whipping would be sad. 14 from uh, Juzo. Uh, you managed to dodge. What uh, do you mean? Uh, I had 15. You managed to dodge out of the way All of right. this fist, but just barely. It like grazes the side of your head as you like almost get fucking punched in the face. Juzo is thoroughly confused. Come on. Here, hold on. Uh, Come on, we're going. Yes. We're going. We're leaving. Come on. Let's just start walking. Get your stuff. Wait, I'm not even dressed. <laughs> it's 6.45. Did I stutter? Breakfast How isn't you know even open up for the hotel. Did, did, did you check a pocket watch? How do you know they... There's an alarm clock I didn't in hear the no room. character action say you check the pocket watch, bitch. You don't know that. He's got all... No, so, he does um, have a clock I asked, literally, literally oh, asked I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm gonna try and this speak. This is not in game. So I'm gonna try and speak French to Juzo real quick, and I'm gonna be like, "I am a sad old man. Please comfort me." No, I'm gonna be like, "Look, uh, the, the American almost punched you. No. I've tried to get you up, and they, I couldn't. If they can get you up, and they're willing to punch you, just like go along with it." Five. Five. Forty-five. He said forty-five. Six forty-five. Yeah. No. No. Did you not respond? Is that your response to my my statement in French? Yes. Is it also in French? Yes. No. Oh, all right. It's and I'm gonna be in like. French. Look, it is. Waiting. I actually. The, my character. My. I, he knows French. I, I. I'm gonna be like. I. I woke up like t an hour ago. Two hours. No, it's only been an hour. I woke up at five. An hour and forty-five minutes. I'm oh, sorry. Well, fine. Five. I woke up. I woke up two hours ago. The breakfast at the hotel is not even open. What are we gonna do? Uh, we're going to spend some time. I'm gonna go back and getting my our room. work done. Right. I'm, I'm gonna be. Ranch. We've got. Uh, our handler. Uh, not a. Not a chef. I hate how that's the actual term. He uh he said that we have to do this and we uh we agreed to do it. So we might as well start getting it done. Get her done. Six forty five though. <laughs> is that is that your response? It's six forty five. So after like this the people we happened, I'm coming out like fully dressed. The people sealed, right? the people we would investigate would pro probably be asleep. We can't even get breakfast at the hotel. Yo, uh, do you want to The school is likely early. not even open. What, what is uh, today, Chris? Every, what is today, every weekday or weekend? Um, let me look. Every hour we spend, um, every hour we spend waiting here is another hour the corpses start decomposing. The people at the places likely will not. Why would the corpses still be at the place? Uh, they disappeared. Some... We have found no trace of them. Uh, it's I a Friday. 
So, wait a second. Oh, yeah. If the place is we're supposed busy. to be okay. So I'm so gonna go get a seat early. So wait a second. So the places we're investigating. They're like currently under investigation from the police, no? Uh, well, a few of them happened a few weeks ago. So those but the ones be... we, the, the most recent ones are still under investigation by the police, correct? To my yes. knowledge, they haven't found any bodies. So, That's Juzo, Juzo, why wouldn't we... want, Riley? They were found with, like, choking. No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually like getting into... Strangled. I'm about, oh, I'm wait, about to... Yes. I'm about to get Some into very... I'm, missing, I'm, I'm about to get into a very in-character rant here. Which Juzo, one's Juzo? gone missing? You count, motherfucker. The one with the rental house. The one How that's about... up for sale. Hmm, my heart. What was about to, um... Was that corpse missing, Chris? No. What? Riley, you literally one. said. Riley, you're your tie. All right, no, okay. no, no, no. He literally Please, said. I... He said every time the tenants disappeared. No, he didn't. That's not what I said. What did you say? Not that. <laughs> Our characters would know. So, um. Uh, basically, okay. uh, what <laughs> I said. Please, I want to continue this. Yeah, what I said basically is, uh, the, the. Bodies would go, and they would go die, and their family would just sort of fuck off. Okay. Usually, so family. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like Juzo. Some of the places we need to investigate are still still have police around them. If we get there early, the police might not even bother to be there. They might not be there to continue the investigation until later on. Yeah, it's literally. Well, wait, we what time period is this? So we don't get 1987. Yeah, this is prime time, like... Well, you we weren't given a car, were we? Wait, this is prime no. time. Police don't have CCTV no. or body cams. Oh, we literally scary. have ID. We literally have special IDs. Literally. No, we don't. Not Just yet. Riley. We literally oh, had them. them. No, we don't. We don't have special... I made a point of this last session. We, we don't have any of the special IDs to fake shit. We have a, Not yet. We have a special... No, the IDs we got were for our place of work. Proving that we work there. Yes, that and they had a special got. thing so that other, if we got in trouble with the law, they would likely look away. Chris but the law, but the, I, if no, I remember, he said the local police aren't to know about this. Yes, if I remember I right, know what we're doing, Juzo, Juzo, we can't get caught. That was specifically told to us. That's why we need to forge fake ID. So Juzo. We have to get there before the police get there. We can't just sneak past them if they're already there. Yuju just closes the door, gets dressed, and then opens the door. So Leon in this time period gone. is going to head. Leon in this time period is going to go get dressed. This time in something, and basically in less conspicuous clothes. This time he's not in a military uniform. He's uh, he's uh, hey Chris, he's in the open house. He's in uh, this one. It's at about 10 a.m. Today? Is that yes? Is that, um, oh, is yeah, that I'm gonna Ethan, be in my baller outfit. Then. Is that Ethan Winters from Resident Evil 8? Uh, the open house Brandon? And ice cat. Brandon, what? is no. that Ethan Winters? No, who is that? That's Sebastian Cassiones from the Evil Within. How much would the open house price that wolf? Or not wolf? Oh, uh, a lot of money. <laughs> How much? About the equivalent of about 500k USD. Why? What are we buying a mansion? Hey, you don't know. You don't know the description of the house. Well, I am the most baller here, so it makes sense. Uh, so remember, guys, we need to prepare for the open house. You know, do that whole investigation. So thing. maybe you guys should I'm... get some like proper outfits. <laughs> Listen, my uh, my attire is already at least. I'm a. Uh... Oh. I'm a wealthy American man that's looking to buy France retail. It doesn't matter what the fuck I wear. I'm gonna be in, already I'm gonna wearing be in, a suit. I'm well, gonna no, be in the I'm wanderer. saying like those of you that don't have suits should probably get suits. I probably have a suit somewhere. All right. Shouldn't we just have like one person with or two people, you know, preferably like with you know somebody who speaks French go to the open house and then the other two go investigate somewhere else. No, probably, but might be better. Why? But uh, no, I look, I look money. Okay, I have a so, golden yeah, chain. Like, no, why no, no, no. I do that? And I don't speak French. No, cow. 
All this right, is perfect. Then I'll go with yeah. you. No, no, you don't even look French. That's the issue. <laughs> He's Me, my interpreter. I French well enough. <laughs> no, but I look French enough. So what? You're my tour guide? Uh, no, no, I could be. <laughs> I could interpreter. Be. Uh, interpreter is a very valid thing, yes. Oh, well, so our plan, our plan, previously, was Riley was the interpreter, I'm the buyer, right? And then I have two people flanking me as, like, muscle, like, quote, unquote. Why would I, a 60-year-old man, be your muscle? Because, well, no, so you're not really, all right, then we can have a different perspective. You're the person that knows what's local. Like, what all the local stuff is. So a tour guide. That'd also be the interpreter. Though. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it feels like the thing to be an interpreter for. So if well, we do, no, my my interpreter is fucking Asian. He doesn't know. Actually, you know what? Instead of debating this in meta, let's just like let's all let's all get dressed. We're all dressed. That let's say that takes us fifteen minutes. Chris, it's now seven p.m. Seven a.m. We can no, get I'm breakfast. already at breakfast. I got right, breakfast. While you were talking to Riley. Yeah, so let's go to breakfast. All of us at breakfast, breakfast at this table. And let's now discuss the day plans. You are all provided a free breakfast of eggs, uh, sausage, and general French things that I don't really know how to describe. Do we get an omelet? You do get a nice no, omelet. No, we get a crepe. You get an omelet, so, uh, a crepe. Crepes are oh, yeah, I want a crepe, yeah. You get an, an omelet, a crepe, and some, like, Ooh, can scattered. we get the crepes with, like, the powdered sugar? Uh, you okay. get a normal crepe. With a little yeah. bit of cream and a strawberry. Is there powdered sugar I can add on top of it? There is a thing that looks like powdered sugar. And well, it has the okay. label sugar. It's oh, right. Sucre. We're gonna add it. It's Coke. So, um, so let's, let's discuss this here. It's flour. Joker. Um. Mm. Oh. Well, we agreed Carl was the face of the party. Give me a second. Ah, yes. Why do we? What you want? Why did we decide on making me the lead of the party? Is that what you were gonna say? No, that was a, that was a meta question. But uh, well, Brandon, we decided was like the internal like I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, let's not just make that. So let's spend time here. Let's go over what we need to do today, everyone. And I'm gonna bring up everything that's already been we've already brought up in meta. Which is, uh, we've got places to investigate, an open house to attend, um, and it's still early, so we can all get, we can get to these things. I'm going to then, who's eating right now, is the first question. I, the Juzo will be. Wouldn't all of you Juzo, are you I'm paying I'm eating your... very slowly as you're talking to me. Yeah, that's fair. Are you paying attention to me speaking, or uh, yes. are you paying attention to your food? I'm lazily looking at you. That's fair. So I'm gonna be like, how much money do you have? How much money do we all have on us? Um, let's go over the list here. Joker, I'm gonna ask you first. How much money do you have on you? Three hundred. Fifty. Three hundred. Oh yeah, USD. Oh, three hundred USD. Fuck. Mad. Um. Out of all, of, no, sorry, uh, Carl. As the other American, you're the only one who could probably hope to uh, have more money than uh, than Joker. How much money do you have on you? In francs. Or... In USD. I don't if you... have USD. I have pounds. How many pounds do you have on you? <laughs> so that's two hundred you uh, USD. Well, he was originally British, so I gave him pounds. But then oh, you, have 200 USD. you have 200 USD. Just uh, switch your pounds over All to right. USD. So, uh, Juzo, how much yen do you have on you? Actually, wait, how much dong do you have on you, Juzo? Oh, I also have some francs. I have 4,000 yen. Not much. I got, I got Four... more francs. All right, so I'm going to be... I have 200. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do some, some math, and it's going to be very wrong, very old math. It's... Uh, so 4,000 obvious... 4, is uh, 4,000. Practically nothing. It's 40 USD. So yeah, I'm about. Aware. I'm going to. No, I already knew the calculation. I'm just. I'm in character here. Oh. Kind of vaguely. So I'm going to reach the conclusion. Joker has the most money out of all of us. He's the most capable of purchasing something here. 
And while he may be, and I'm going to say this part in French. We don't French. need to be rich. We just need to say we're rich. I'm going to be. I'm no. I'm going to be. I also look rich. Yeah, no. I'm going. That's what. That's my point. I'm going to make here now. I'm going to say in French to just specifically Juzo. He may be garish and. Fuck. Great. I love when my Wi-Fi goes out for no good fucking reason. beating it on the back. other way. Is that not right? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be there. It could be somewhere. Else. It literally could be anywhere. But, well, there's like, something the lane, in this town. So... There has to be something that connects all this. Yes. There's no There's the, no the, reason the, the why... Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's something that has to do with we, the school. Yeah. We discussed but, We discussed this last night. I, I don't but, know if you remember. Uh, our teller to specifically told us there was a... Uh, lead towards the uh thing so i think we should go check that out you know well it is still early uh it's a friday <sighs> i mean you guys could use some proper suit we could i don't think and uh, shouldn't sip up. um I just, the stores may not be I open mean, you yet you guys could try to requisition some from the uh, contest should we? I'm gonna, I, Chris. I'm gonna try. Would this be like local knowledge, or is this just like? What are you asking knowledge? me? Sorry. Is the school open today? This would be. Why uh, would we? Why well, would I just I... assume it's open? Because. Why would it? No. Okay. What day is it? Friday. 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 What? Of which month? January. January. What day? Ninth. Give me a second. We're actually gonna look up if this is a canonical valid time. Oh my god! I'm no, not really. I'm just gonna look up. You don't need to go into specifics. Let's just go. No, there's actually there's actually one reason and one reason only for this. There are are no days here that actually mean anything. There's nothing important today. Which means that school may be open, but given the holidays Why and you want given twenty-four-year-old to sneak on to a middle school, no, given the holidays and given the way things work around here, I don't know if in America your schools are different, but it depends on the school, really. But there's a chance they might just not be in school yet. They might have gone home for the Noel, the, what's the word in English, Christmas, and they might not have come back yet. There's always that chance, so we might as well check it out while we still have the well, still have the time. Listen, man, I ain't, I ain't a fan of no kids. All right, I don't want to be no creep. Um. 
If anything, our work is saving the lives of these of these children in the future. If you don't want to, if you don't want to go to the school, we could split up. We could have people investigate the school while we investigate the open house. What are your thoughts on that, Joker? I, I just don't think it's a good idea to go around looking at children. <laughs> Duly noted, Joker. Uh, what are your thoughts on us going to the open house and then Carl and Juzo going to the uh, going that to the could, school? That could work. Me going to the school. I used to be a teacher. I could just say I'm a transfer from America. I you could say. One check of administration. One, one check of administration, and they got you, man. Wouldn't there just be like rumors about that everywhere? Couldn't Why? you say? Couldn't you say that you're just trying to study? You're doing a study on international schools. Uh, I could. Surely uh, there'd be a brief. This doesn't the administration always just check, check, keeps checks well, and tabs. Well, maybe on these they things. just don't have my info yet. Well, what? Then you, you wouldn't be there. Carl, <laughs> do you have any? Were you actually a teacher, Carl? I was, and I showed you have, how the hell did you get in a lesson plans I don't know that that I had prepared for a class that Wait. I never got. To. You would also have your U.S. teaching license. Yes, no. that too. You I could show, show your. You could show your. You could show this to your job. Nice <laughs> <Be hired. laughs> work, job. Yo, okay. With the, you could try to teach, teach English. You know? You're also, as a professor, I think all professors are doctors, so. No, 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 that's, all professors have a doctorate. Not all professors are doc- I, I guess they are If you have doctor. a doctorate. You are a doctor. All if professors have are doctor. have PhDs. It, it depends, what did you teach? Science. What level is school? Okay, then you definitely had a PhD. Way? This is a secondary school. So, I don't know what secondary school is in High school. French. Secondary high school, school is high school and middle school. Okay, Come so on. they they could potentially get someone that has a fucking PhD. Think about it. It's it's just north of Bordeaux, a big major city. So while it isn't, while it isn't large per se, it's still a significant place. There's people who come to La Rochelle for reasons here. There's people who come from neighboring towns and cities. So. It wouldn't be entirely unreasonable for an American to assume that a place like this might be worth studying, along with others in the region. Hey, you ask him to come up with some fake reason to uh, be at the school. I'm trying to come up with a with a reason that the French t people there would believe. We can't necessarily just tell them the truth. Some random study gonna warrant their school. Feel like, given the prestige of some schools in America, it may be seen as an honor. What school did uh fucking Carl graduate from? Yeah, what from? school did you graduate from? Carl. I got two different questions. I got the, where did I teach and where did I graduate? Which one? what what school you graduated from oh. actually matters more. Uh, you get your. What? What school did you graduate from? Harvard. What school did you teach at? It actually yeah. doesn't matter. The teaching license doesn't tell people that. The teaching license is just a state-given thing. Yeah, but he can flex it, and it's true. He, he can flex it, yes. So he can't even fake lie about that. So, if you just say you're from Harvard, that's one of the biggest names here. It's the only Never. one of the few names. It's one of the few names that people in France care about. I do want to make if a... a French I do want to make a point of something. Harvard isn't exactly known for their sciences program. How old are you? I, what do you mean scientist uh, program? They're, they're, they're more of a... You, could still, you realistically could still be a student at Harvard. Yeah, no. You I say you're trying to write a paper yeah, about foreign, uh, foreign like, uh, school. And Wait, what, what did you teach? Science. Harvard isn't... No, Harvard isn't known for its science, but at the same time... 
it's still taught. I think it's yeah. clout. I, I think I, it's, it's clout. Good, the clout. people people in France don't know the specifics of what Harvard teaches. It just knows that so many big names go to big name schools like Harvard. MIT would be a better one if you really wanted to be in the that field. Yeah, you I would, guess. but they I'll, I'll switch it into MIT. Yeah. Bro, I'll, I'm sorry. Oh, pick and career. choose your Ivy Wood, fucking bitch. No, Chris, Chris Meta. The French people don't care. MIT is like saying MIT is still a very prestigious school, though. It's like saying it's like saying, oh, I went to uh, I went to this city in France versus this city. As nobody cares what city it is if it isn't a big name, and even then they don't know what the difference is. Like if I but name drop a big name, yeah, no, if I they don't know the name, tell me what you can find in Paris. Everyone, that you can't find. every, every uh fucking big name school is like going to Paris. You don't care what district they go in Paris. They went to Paris. Yeah. you're getting my point. It's like. You go to Paris. You can't tell me the difference between Paris and Normandy other than those are both big names that you hear about. Except for the fact that Normandy isn't a city, it's a province. I take that back. Like, Paris or Rome. The only difference you know is that one's in Italy and one's in France. Nobody cares about the specifics of each college. I was more saying that for uh, reference for his character. Uh. Because if he wanted to be like a... A really good, uh, even if he wasn't teaching at MIT, even if he graduated from MIT, that's a really yeah, good thing, at least in US. MIT. There we go, yeah. I'll just switch it from Harvard to MIT. My lore, whatever, I actually post it to my character channel. But, no, I, All right. I graduated from MIT, and even though it doesn't matter, I taught at the Brown School of Science in New York. Hmm. Alright, so this could actually work. This little Texan boy now, hold has been on. Everywhere. Why are we going? Why are we looking at the school while we're also trying to look at the house? Because, as we reached, as we discussed earlier, one of the common links we've seen so far is the school. Well, we need why to do investigate. Why do we have to do them at the same time? Why can't we take a time? One of the main reasons I'd suggest doing them at the same time is because, other otherwise, first off. People may be suspicious of us as people. We're, we're, we got two Texans here. Or no, we got two Americans here, a, a Japanese, and then an Are old man like Texas? me. We got two Texans, a Japanese man, and an old man here. If we You're take okay? our time traveling together, that's not something people in a town like this forget very often. Americans are rare breeds here. <laughs> Japanese people are practically unheard of. And someone like you... Well, clearly we're and... foreigners. I don't see what the whole deal is. The issue is we're together. A school's not going to talk up to an open house about fucking some foreigners they talk to. The, the, the no. connections aren't there. I get you're, you're worried, right. but uh, I think you're worried around it. You're right that there's no connection between the open house and the school. But the school's leads may have connections that are damaged by this. I don't... Alright. So what, you think both Texans should, should... No, wait, that doesn't work. But why would there be... Alright. Well, it's gonna be a big coincidence if there's just two Texans in town. At the same time. Doing their own thing. I suppose that's right. And we're in the same hotel. And with the scene we caused earlier. I didn't cause no scene. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say, I didn't cause it. I mean, I think you're stressing too much. I think we should go investigate. I, I just want more eyes at, like, the open house, because that's where he started us. If, they, if nothing comes of it, we can go to I the school. It. It's not like the school's going anywhere. Not even no bodies at the school. Chris, what time is it now? Uh, you guys have been talking for about 20 minutes, so it's about 7.20. How far is the open house? Not that far, like, maybe a 10, 15 minute walk. Alright. And you guys have until 10 before it starts, so. 
Yeah. Huh? Either we split up and it's a heavy coincidence that uh, there's two foreigner groups here at the same time. Or it's one foreigner group and we uh, have multiple well, interests. Maybe that's all people. we'll just see it as is a coincidence. Well, no, because they'll be interested in coincidence. Why? And then they'll see. Interested in coincidence? Because I get that, you know, I don't French know. people aren't generally I'm as just smart operating as under the Americans, but... That our old friends here, ideas are right. That people will care. I only, I think the only person that's going to care is going to be the retail people going to try to get my money. Then? Hmm. And I don't think, I think the school's going to like that some hard, what, MIT or whatever students here. I don't I think, think they're going to be unhappy about that. I feel like if we just say it's a business trip for all of us, it's not a problem, right? I think that would work. Yeah, but what business are two Texans, a Japanese man, and an old man involved in? They all travel together. Uh, I know. Then I know, what if we I don't Well, we met our like friend a... here who lives in this area, the fucking old French man. I could say I could say my parents were Japanese say, immigrants to America. Say yeah, that he can be our I'm like a... neighbor or something, and we brought him over because why not? Wait, you don't and sound American now. Day. Since since you two are are Texans, you could just say I'm your. <laughs> one of your you, what, do you think that matters? That that you could just say I'm one of your matter. local business one, one of your um business I contacts outside of the Japanese. states. Yeah, he he's our contact to hook us up with all the stuff around here. Like it's simple and then yeah that would work well i feel like we can't waste and too much more time we, we got here on like the same area because us uh, the same business contact would recommend the same hotel and you came to stay with us so like you know uh, maybe you don't live in the city but you know it I suppose we can't really spend and much like, more time the debating with could be here because, I don't know, I'm racist and wanted to interpret it. <laughs> I don't know, you can come up with your own ideas, I'm sure. I mean, we are here on business. It's not even... uh, so are we splitting up or no? I suppose we aren't. Is... I would suggest against it because open house can't be more than three hours. Then we can all go. Then some of us can go to the schools, and some other people can investigate some of the other sites. I suppose then we should all work together, move together. Um, well, like, it's we not like the school is going anywhere. Yeah. So, like, there's no time pressure for like us to have to split up there, but the other sites are going somewhere. All right, we don't look too local, but we I mean, also we don't, don't have to. I just said we're here on business. Yeah. Ah, the core. Uh, do you want me to get get us a ride, or shall we walk there walk there ourselves? It's only a ten minute walk. It's only a ten minute walk. You're right. Should we bring anything with us? If I'm here to get a house, I'm gonna want to know the load. Okay. I, I, my one recommendation is you shouldn't brandish your firearms like that again. Oh no! It I may... only came out here because there was like bang on the door. I, I was more talking about. I was more talking to Carl with that one. Oh. And if we're going to this. Maybe it'd be best. I could bring my bag with me. I got. I asked for one. I could bring my bag with me, and I could carry the guns in it. That way, we have them on us without anyone suspecting anything. It's not uncommon for a man to bring a bag with him if he has a day outing. Why are we not like they're gonna search this? their fucking buyer's bag. Why are we too concerned with this? Because I feel like they might notice the guns if we just have them on the uh, I'm just role yeah, playing. My my been hidden. My friend, my 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 character's just a little bit paranoid. My friend, a... I ain't, there's nothing hidden about me. 
<laughs> Alright then, you don't have to bring uh, one, but your bodyguard. I, I'm bringing my gun. Well, I would prefer to keep Then why are you bringing right. I'll, I'll put it in his bag, but I, I want my gun. Alright. I I did bring my I did bring my bag with me, Chris, by the way. Uh so I'm just carrying around my uh, my rifle with me. Got it. Let's uh let's put them in the bag like after breakfast, you know? In yeah. our room. Keep them right with me. I'm not putting it in the bag. Well all right. that's that's your problem, not mine. Alright. Uh, I suppose this concludes our breakfast for the most part. All that's left now is to finish our food. Does anyone have anything else they want to add, or do they just agree with me? I just go back to eating. That's fair. All right. After about ten more minutes, all of you are done. And False. I order a second meal. <laughs> you only given one free meal. At this breakfast. is so sad. Uh, there is also, apparently, uh, or well, now it's like seven, seven thirty-five. Uh, the open house is until ten, so. Yeah, but we can like get the lay of the land and learn the local places. That's I a guess. good idea. Is there one of the uh, those like cigarette vending machines in the lobby of this hotel? No. No. Why not? I've never heard of a French cigarette vending machine. I've never heard of a cigarette vending machine. Yeah, there's, there's such things. Let me look one up. Oh, no, they are the real not thing. Local. I've heard of it. But also, no, not in this uh, hotel. If you'd want some, you'd have to come down to the local store. <laughs> hey, Frenchie. Which, yeah, I suppose you're talking to me? The only French-looking one here, yes. Not the only one who speaks French, though. The only one who looks French. I... All right, just to say your piece. Is there a store around here, like nearby, that we can walk to that sells cigarettes? <sighs> yeah, you're from France. You know where everything is around here. I'm going to take a moment to think. And... Well, recently, the, the French ministers have been kind of cracking down on tobacco use, but... The French people really don't like that. There's almost certainly a few stores nearby we can find that will sell cigarettes, if not as their own, one of their bigger purchases, as one of the side things. Think of it... I don't know what to think of it as, as an American analog. There's... Think of it like prohibition. Not perhaps... Not quite, but... Close enough in terms of how many people were ignoring it. There's almost certainly a smoke shop somewhere nearby if you want to buy high-quality tobacco. If you just want simple cigarettes, a local convenience store will do just fine. Convenience. <laughs> <laughs> he was asking for a specific location. You, yeah, a local convenience store. You know, do you want a specific location? Okay. Just walk down the street. Anywhere There's likely a convenience somewhere. Hotel. You want, uh, you want me to pull up the map, see if there's a cigarette shop nearby? No, I want a cigar. Uh, you want a cigar? I did just mention that there's some high-quality tobacco s the smoke shops nearby. Yeah, but I want a cigar. Those would be sold in high-quality tobacco smoke Yeah, shop. but I want a cigar. Then let's go. Alright, let's go. Alright. Did you say something to me? No, let's go. Alright, we get up. Uh, I assume we return back to our rooms real quick to get prepared to go out for the day yeah and i give you my gun all right i put it in my bag, in bag. and or both I, of my guns actually i do mask the guns with i'm gonna mask it with a blanket got it i will uh keep my gun uh hidden in my pocket yeah i'll keep mine hidden pocket in my yeah Fucking all right giant or your pocket. the one request i have despite the fact that we are going to a fine shop. I do need to purchase some food. I had hopes that maybe I could enjoy the sights for lunch. Son, we got 
until 10 to be at the open house. They're probably serving food there. Maybe. Hell, they might still be serving breakfast. Hmm. Perhaps. Let's just make our way there, then. And well, stop, by the sh stop by we the shop. We have two and a half hours. We have two and a half Oh, we do have two and a half hours. All right. <laughs> I forgot what time it was. Forgive me. <laughs> what were you at? Dude, I'm getting really into this dementia role for <laughs> I'm just telling you. Hey okay there, old man. No. <laughs> Uh, forgive me, time eludes me sometimes. Are we sure we should be working with the other tech look like a worried look on my face? I look um, back at you like yeah, with also the same worried look. So but probably for a different reason. You mentioned you wanted you mentioned you wanted a cigar? Yes, sir, I want some fine cigars. Uh we do have a few nearby. Just follow me. You, like live here? Like why do you know the location? Um, let me give. Let me roll something here because I have three different reasons. Sorry, my my entire lore is randomized. Sorry, my daughter lives here until she got died in the war. Uh, I was here after the Second World War. I spent. Some time here, as part of a Belgian aid program, so to speak. Wasn't that like 40 years ago? Yeah, I must admit some things have changed, but what can I say? The French don't really like changing their buildings. I I, I turned back to Brandon. <laughs> Still fucking worried. I'm not joking. Like, the buildings in Paris are the same layout. They've been made since, like, the, the yeah, 1400s. but the owners change. The owners change, you're right. So, so their purpose has changed. Their pr yes, I must admit. In 40 years, many places have come and gone. Many of which, which, many of which I probably haven't seen. But, if there's one thing I can trust the French to do is to keep their love for tobacco and wine still alive. Alright, well, lead away, Frenchie. Alright. The old 60 year old man starts walking down the road. Uh, the sidewalk, that is. And he starts taking some rather confusing paths. Well, at least to the untrained eye. He's taking alleyways. You trying to get us mugged? No, nothing quite like that. It's too early for that, anyways, here. At this point, people are traveling these paths. So at this point, people won't be traveling these paths for another hour. So it's just a quick shortcut, nothing more. And he eventually leads them. For we are where we're here. So I'm gonna draw this kind of freehand. As opposed we, to using a reference. So we're here, yeah. And I don't know the scale, but... Uh, Chris, I don't even remember what the numbers mean. Uh, they were the, the order... order of which the uh, murder... Oh, was. yeah. We yeah. are at La Rochelle. Oh, no, wait, that's the whole fucking place. Um, and that's actually rather we're big. We're at the purple square. Yeah, the purple square. The lilac the... square. The li the we're not in here anymore. Yeah, we were at the we were. That's at the where water you were. Room. That's where you were. we at some point. That's where you were. How? Did... So we're here now. Room. Give me a second. We're here. So he's going to lead you kind of around here, which is actually a little bit further than you think it is, but not too much. That would take you. Pass quite a bit, actually. But you end in... I have actually inadvertently taken you to a history location. Uh, this right here is uh, a bunker. Just like a, an actual bunker. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Le bunker du uh, bunker Rochelle. 
All right, so... But he takes you to a place here with a local uh, smoke shop, so to speak. Uh, as he promised. Is anyone going to say anything, or do I need to continue describing what I'm doing? I don't know. All right, I'm just trying just to go to a smoke in. shop. You, so. uh, we're right, we're here. Do you not wish I to go, go in? in. Bonjour, monsieur. Um... I'm so confused. What's going on? <laughs> uh, we're buying cigarettes, cigars, apparently. All right. Uh, uh, the man attending the shop would, uh, he himself be smoking a cigar as they walked in. He then uh, would look at them and say, "Not gonna help you too." I'm gonna say, do you well, want to speak? Is he speaking in English uh -huh. or French? I, I also French. Is he yeah, is he gonna be speaking? He's speaking in French. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna respond. With a simple bonjour, and be like, a monsieur, and we would like, uh, and I'm gonna be like, fuck, but uh, um, and I'm gonna speak in French to Joker, uh, how many cigars do you want? Come me on this again, and then realize I've made a mistake and ask in English. And he just kind of like looks at you and like and then, shakes his head, like, what? How many cigars do you want? I want a pack. Pack. Excuse me, monsieur. Uh, est que... Fuck, why am I still speaking in French? I just meant to say excuse me. Do you accept foreign currency or must we pay in francs? Why would we accept foreign currency? Francs. And, um... Tell me on how much? How many? A pack. Pack. Enough to satisfy... To America. Wait. He thinks for a moment before saying, "That will be fifty. Fifty? Just fifty francs? Fifty francs. Um. Decor. Uh, Leon's gonna make this purchase. He's gonna purchase uh the cigars for fifty, and then uh, ask for one for himself as well. One for yourself. Hey. That will be five francs. We purchased eleven oh, cigars. <laughs> we purchased eleven cigars. Excuse me. They come ten to the pack. Uh, that is fair. Okay, so um. <laughs> it's going cool <laughs> so, I just <laughs> is... so, I'm um... going to Chris, they're just like a pack of cigarettes on the thing, right? So yeah, there's just no, packs of cigars. Packs. Uh, you can get cigarettes here as well. Yeah, I just got like a... we, just, we just grab one, place one on the counter, and then just pay the and put. So uh, that was fifty five francs. That, that was fifty five francs. Give me a second. Uh, that'll That's be five. Mm hmm. That'll be fifty francs for the uh, pack. Of course, a pack what of cigarettes has more in it. A pack of cigarettes okay. is larger than a pack of cigars. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. In number, in volume, but yeah. not in like volume. Yeah, but uh, the price is relatively the same for a similar okay. amount. Sure. I would know. I work at a fucking store for this stuff. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah, no. All right. uh, Cigar so how, Cigar many, how many yeah. are in my pack of cigars? Ten. Ten? Ten. Okay. So you just... Oh, what do you I buy? Cigars, medium cigars, whatever. They're like... They're mid-range cigars. They're French, but the French I do have various have... tastes. Uh, do I buy myself? Do I have a lighter? Actually, do I? Yes or no, Chris? Uh, you would have a lighter. Did I get a pack of cigars as well? Do you? I got a pack. I don't know. You said you bought two. No, he bought. I one bought pack one for three. myself, and I bought one pack. So one pack of cigars is fifty francs. Yep. Jesus Christ. I got it's about ten pack. bucks. I, I grabbed the pack. Uh I just look over at Leon like, uh what's the French word for cigarette? Uh cigarette. Uh or give me a second. I actually need to make sure because 'cause I'm uh 'cause he's not a smoker. Cigarette is actually... um it's 
I actually got to Cigar hat. Um, same as cigar, but small. Uh, thus, cigarette. The word is French. Like, like I, the actual word is actually just a French word we've stolen. Does that answer your question, uh, Carl? By the insane rambling of this madman, I'm just gonna like. I, I just answered. Go has. I just told you the answer. I, I, I translate for you on that. I, I spoke brain, in English there. My brain didn't translate your English well. The, the I'm word sorry, is... but my character's dumb, so he can't. I can't translate for you. God. Here's that just leaves. I'm going you to leave. I'm going to follow after him. I'm going to leave with my cigar. Leaving, oh. leaving Carl. Never mind. I don't leave. I'm not going to abandon. Leaving Carl to pay for his cigar cigarette. Yeah. All right. I just say, I just say to like. The. Sorry, Juzo. I'm going to Juzo. I'm going to drag you. Cigarette. Cigarette. Uh, what was my name? Yeah. My name? Sorry, I'm going to harass Either you, though, in our PVC. I don't thing. remember how to do my hex accent. Hold on. Hey, y'all. Juzo, I'm getting... Cigarettes. There we go. Are you going to say that to him? Yep. Cigarette? He, he goes over and he, like... He just, he just motions, like, to the store where there's just a wall. Of just different cigarette brands. Most of them being French. I, I motion for Carl. I just, I just, I look at all of them and I just grab one that's not at least like, you know, menthol flavored and just kind of like put it on the counter. I don't even know what brand I bought or anything. Just as long as it's not menthol. Just stop staring at the French word for cigarette. It's just cigarette. Cigarette. I had to look it up. I don't. You. I don't smoke. So he put he put a pack of cigarettes on the counter. Just fifty franc. Or he says it in French. Fifty francs. So what is it? What is uh fifty in French? <laughs> Fifty in French? Yeah. Isn't it court? Uh, cinquante. Oh, no. Okay. Cinquante. Cinquante Franca. I just look at him confused. Cinq zero. Uh, cinq zero. Without any of the translators in here, I'll just, like, pull out, like, a handful of Franks. Did they leave? Like, how many... the... Yeah, they left. They yeah. Stepped out. And I was so like, I'm well, fuck, I thought, I thought, like, I'm one of them would stay with Carl, so I'm not going to leave. On the counter, not knowing how many it is. He like seems that. to pull out, uh, 50 francs. And then he just pushes the cigarettes over to you. Thank you, United States. I follow after him. Do you even know what brand of, like, cigarettes you bought? No. You just bought some cigarettes? Yeah. Sorry, we're all addicted to gambling and fucking... Nicotine. Man, these really be 90s vibes. <laughs> wait, till, wait till we get, like, an actual proper place to drink. I just didn't drink at the session one because it's, you know, an actual important thing meeting you know yeah whenever we have free time just wait holy shit he's gonna yeah, express his god-given right as an american to drink god-given right carl has played very differently than Grigori. oh y'all we got uh two hours to kill and I, uh, I take a cigar out and light it. So, Leon, 
Leon did say he wanted to uh, get something for his lunch later on. He's going to start, uh, he's going to say in English, I'm going to go ahead to the, uh, the convenience store, or the, the marché. Uh, if you wish to join me and purchase some food or some materials, I suppose. I'm not sure what you could get, but you could come with me. Otherwise, he's just going to head it alone. All right, you walk a bit down the road and you come up on a convenience store. He's going to walk in, uh, head to the uh, the Pamiri, which is like the baker, but specifically for bread. Usually we'll just, just go and walk around to get familiar with the local area. Uh, oh, you can't interrupt yeah, me while... You can't interrupt me while this. While this. I'm like, he's going to buy bread. He's going to literally buy two baguettes because they don't spoil. And um, he's going to buy some... We don't have any way to communicate with each other, do we? Like, over long... Like... No. No. We could Power. send... Uh, Smoke signals. Telegram. Smoke signals. We could send mail. Oh, fuck it. Oh, so are still... you like what? You're selling you're buying some baguettes? I'm buying some baguettes and I was also going to buy some uh I forget the French word for it, but it's like crystallized fruit. Oh. Um It It's it doesn't it doesn't make sense if I say it in English. It's like fruit that's been specifically made into an almost Dried fruit? Uh, no, it's like a jelly, like not a jelly, a um, gummy fruit. But it's fruit still. It's just been soaked in sugar in such a way that it's become gummified. Hmm. Sounds it, incredibly unhealthy. Uh, it's actually not that bad. It's still fruit. It's just extra sugar. Yeah, fruits are already very sugar. Um, yeah, but twenty-five francs. 25 francs for some baguettes and fruit. Or no, 20 francs, sorry. Okay. And uh, with that, he's going to head back toward... He's going to head back towards the smoke shop because that's the last place he saw the rest of them. Uh, is anyone still around the smoke shop? I don't know. I'm walking with Rune Knockoff. Rune Knockoff? You mean Juzo? Yeah. All right, what's Carl doing? I guess I'm with the old man, just waiting outside. Okay, so then you just uh, follow him when he... Do you say he is a sane individual? No, yeah, that's why he's a knockoff. Wait, I'm glad you're, uh... I'm glad you're, uh... You know, admitting to the fact that, uh... Rene is not sane. I don't think there'd be many other reasons to explain his actions, and, uh... Yeah. Anyway. We're trying to figure out the lay of the land, you know? You're just walking around? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're learning what's around. Just some houses, you know? Houses, shops, all that fun stuff. Any fun shop? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, anything that is noteworthy. A sex shop. <laughs> uh, Probably a thing. Any whorehouses. You do not find any brothels, no. This is unfortunate. Uh, I'm gonna leave Frank. Actually, can I, did he roll perception? Did he just get like a bad perception check? Oh. Hmm. Apparently prostitution is legal in France, but brothel keeping is not. The act of being a prostitute is legal. The act of keeping prostitutes or organizing them is not. So you can sell your body. Just someone else can't sell your body. Yeah. Actually. 
It's the idea that necessity justifies things to some extent. And as long as you're the only victim, it's fine. If someone else t starts treating you like a victim, though, if someone else starts making you the victim instead of yourself, that's when it's no longer fine. I'm glad you uh, know it. But... No, I know this because the way the French culture works, it's like progressive, but only in ways that benefit men. No, Chris, yeah, well, I wonder what this game reminds me of. What? Chris, freelancers. Sorry. It uh, has had that vibe. <laughs> that unsettling, wrong vibe. You guys. Listen, I, I'm, I'm glad we're playing, you know, the Seven Vices game. Can we, uh, fucking play a bathroom maze? Yeah, I'd like to. Okay, okay so we, we wait around until 10, alright. Yeah, so, so you wait around until 10, party. and then you go to the open house. Yeah. Alright. Um, Describe the scene. Give as us you, a picture. As you all... Thing. I was about to do it, bastard. Character. As you all approach, it seems to be a very fine, larger house of seemingly two stories and... Uh, with a seeming uh, middle section third, not a full third story, that uh, seems to s sort of trump the rest around them. The house overall looks very fine, uh, distinguished, and well-constructed. Uh, it appears to be of standard French architecture, nothing exceptional in that regard. However, its uh, size fine. does stand... It's so an oddity. And the overall uh, surrounding area seems to just be very well, normal, expected, shall we say. It's about what you'd expect given the price. It's a relatively large house that looks nice with a seemingly well-maintained garden and an open house, or open house in French on a sign in front of it. Right, we getting into our roles. We all know what we doing here. All right. So I I am the interpreter, correct? Or yes, here's uh, how it is. No, you're you're the tour guide. The Japanese the interpreter. I suppose that would make sense. I mean, both of you work. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Ah, uh, the core. All right. What the sign say? What's the sign say in French? Open house. Open house. And a, and, and a number. And a phone number to call. Are we supposed to set up an appointment? Up an appointment? That would make sense if it's an open house. Uh. Alright, so we're, we allowed to go in, yeah? I would believe There so. appear to be people walking and approaching the house. Walking inside. Uh, let's go, let's go check These are just nods. Seemingly more upper class individuals. Hey man, if I have money, I'm, uh, I'm welcome. And I look like I have money. Alright. So. so. I'm gonna walk first. If you lead the way. And we'll fucking follow. swagger in. You swagger in? Yeah. All right, oh, yeah. so... Using dictionary, uh, correct. Yeah. I follow, like, trying to look as intimidating as possible to play off the bodyguard role. Um, uh... Leon just kind of walks in. He keeps a good hand on his bag. Uh, but he does leave it open enough to just expose the food. Um, yeah. I'm not a cigar uh, smoker. How long do they last? Depends on how much you smoke it. If you extinguish it and relight it, you can last, make it last forever. If you smoke it nonstop. If you smoke it nonstop, uh, how long will a cigar last?
Um, probably thirty minutes, I guess. Okay. Sorry, yeah. it says two years, but that's oh, that's not what I want. Two. Sorry, a cigar can last two, two months or twenty. Constant ignition. <laughs> a cigar can last two months or twenty years, and you're like, oh yeah, it's due it's due to like humidity and stuff, and I'm like, premium cigars will last some time. What? How long? What? How long do you use smoke a cigar? Thirty minutes to two hours. Yeah, thirty minutes okay. to two hours. It's like don't rush oh, it. Oh, I I could have the cigar scale like if I wasn't constantly. Smoking. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm gonna say I only have like the beginning ignition, and then I like put it out. Because I was walking. Really. All right, so you're walking in, smoking a cigar. You do see a few people, some smoking from pipes and other such things. Seemingly a good few families, few uh, single individuals, a few couples, generally all of more upper class status. What the house look like? The inside of the house is uh, got more darker floors, sort of a, a deep rich wood, almost red in hue. Uh, a lot of the walls are a nice sort of pale, like, pale blue, but like borderline white. Uh, there's a skirting board what that is... Spider-Man ass house is this? The uh, skirting board is the same tone as the floors alongside the, uh, whatever the top part, the top skirting board's called. That's also a similar uh, tinge. Uh, the entranceway appears to be a nice sort of foyer area with a, a sh what appears to be a, a well-maintained shoe rack and a coat rack next to the door uh, where a place where a hat would go. Uh, and it seems to lead into a sort of archway that has a living room on the left. And a uh, living room on the left side and a sort of open plan kitchen on the right which number is this this is number f five that took 15 minutes to walk uh depending on your pace yeah okay because we're just sort of brisk uh sort of we're walking that quickly and it was a relatively busy friday so Is there any, like, uh, I don't know, guys, what do you want to do? Um, so they're just touring, we're just touring the house so far? Mm -hmm. Remind me again, house. remind me again why this house is a point of interest. The people die here. How many people have died here? Just one? One. One, a, uh, one, a uh, man who worked as a business person for a uh, important shipping company. And, um... When did they die, and in what room? Uh, that's not specified. Or, well, when, when is died? specified, it, but location is not. Um, when was about, uh, two, three, or it was about a month ago. He was the first right, of I'm the deaths. I would like to roll, um, will it be scrutiny? Uh, I'm gonna roll, first off, I'm gonna use, uh, Wow. Common lore, common lore politics. Sorry. Um, what y'all uh, thinking about this place? You know, what you see. Uh, I'm gonna roll here. I want to roll. I'm not sure if it's scrutiny or investigation. I'm guessing it's investigation. Depends on what you're doing. I want to look for signs of recent paint, or otherwise, almost. You know, someone's been murdered here. They're, okay. They were choked. Correct. Yes. I'm assuming, however, the fall would have caused some bleeding at least, correct? Maybe. If they're choked standing upright, they fall. That's not specified in the report you were getting. They were... Oh, okay, I want to look for then... Where was their body found? Not specified in the report. I want to search for... Why? for I want to search for one of three things. Okay. A sign of a struggle. Okay. A sign... Uh, like an imprint of a body, because I'm not sure how long it took for them to discover. Or, I want the other one I want to search for is sign of recent alterations to the house. 
uh, the house have, investigation. Like, perfume or something? It seems that it's being it's some kind of air leavener, freshener is making it smell nicer. Is there any place where it smells different? Not really. It's just so sad. Uh, roll, per roll investigation. All right. Uh, that's uh, what wisdom. Uh, intelligence. Natural, nat one. Uh, roll me a d100. What, what do you mean, a like critical one. fail? Yeah. Alright, so... As you're looking through the house, and you're inside of a sort of laundry room area, you are convinced 100% that this is where she died. But I crit failed. Does the lavender smell just throughout the house, or is it concentrated in one area? Nope, throughout the house. Is there an upstairs? There is a, there's an upstairs and a, and a third floor. Uh, I'll go upstairs to the second floor and look around. Uh, investigation. Is there any, like... <sighs> house attendant my mom. or like there's a few realtors that are walking around modifier for 16 is plus three right uh yes yes All right. so, I only have plus so three. they're the people selling the house right you would assume so yes Thirteen. Right, i wanna 13 sorry yeah um as you're upstairs, you don't notice anything too out of the ordinary. It seems all the walls in the upstairs have been repainted, just in general. Um, you're not really sure why, but it was relatively recent, about a week ago. And is there anybody like else upstairs, or am I? There's just upstairs? a few people walking around, exploring the upstairs. Uh, I'll just. Uh... What is in the upstairs? Is it like just the bedroom? Mostly bedrooms, yes. It's 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 a few spare bedrooms. There appears to be an office space where there is a, a personal computer. Can I go into that office space or is that like off limits? Uh, it's personal. completely open and it appears to be a... Uh, as you enter the office space, it's a sort of a, a dimmer, uh, darker room, but still feeling that comfort because there's like a, a small fireplace off to the side. Uh, the fireplace is surrounded by bookshelves, and in the center of the room is a large mahogany desk with a uh, desk chair sitting behind it, and a large personal computer alongside a lot of papers strewn about uh, there er, that have been neatly stacked. No, no one is there. The room is devoid of anyone except for you. Can I go over to the computer and like turn it on or anything? Yeah, you can go try and turn it on. All right, I'll turn it on. All right. You boot up this old personal computer, uh, what appears to be some kind of Commodore 64. I think the Commodore 64 was out. We'll, we'll just see. Give me a second. Commodore 64 came out in 1982. Yeah, it's like an old Commodore 64. Um, seemingly uh, something you're not too common to see, but a relatively affordable computer. Or has it looked like it's been like wiped clean of anything or is there still like files on it or anything? Uh, it appears that the files have been cleaned off the computer. Would I be able to find a way to, you know, check the trash it? can? Roll computer. Roll computer, is that also intelligence? Yes, that's also intelligence. Okay, so I can... oh, this doesn't have a trash can or anything like that. Oh, you actually have a point in computer. I'm surprised. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, you managed to get some of the contents of the hard drive back. Can I, like, you know, look through and see if there's anything of interest? Um, so going through the hard drive, you mostly find mentions of business deals and just a lot of emails back and forth. However, there's one specific email that stands out regarding, uh, that doesn't seem to be work-related. It seems to be a personal email. Uh, regarding a specific individual named, uh, uh, Josephine, or Josephine, uh, Devereux. Um, but it doesn't say much other than it's so unfortunate that, uh, what, what had occurred to her. 
I give you my greatest condolences, is basically the contents of the email. I will be there at her funeral, and all that. Does the name ring a bell? Like, Josephine, that one you're... Of the other victims? Nope, or not what? one of the other victims. Okay, so then this is some other person. Uh, do we know the name of the person who died here? Uh, yes. Yes. I don't think hey, I named him last session. I don't think I named him last session, so... It is... Um... Uh, Maurice Lavoie. Uh, Lavoie is spelled a L A V O I E. Lavoie. Uh, well, is there a trash can next to the desk? Yeah. Is it empty? Yep. All right. Uh, I'll start looking through the books on the bookshelf. See if there's anything hidden. Check if it has a floppy disk in it. Well, okay. Does it have a floppy disk in it? In the. In the computer. Nope. And. Uh, looking upon the uh, books, it's just a bunch of... Uh, a lot of them are, like, business-related. Uh, there's a specific one that you actually recognize. There's uh, The Wealth of Nations by uh, that's the one I recognize John Adams. The one that's I so have. ancient. Look, why is someone reading The Wealth of Nations? I don't know. Why? The 1700s. Who here is researching mercantilism in the 1987 era? They just want some light no. reading. It's not a light read. It's horrendous. I've tried reading it. I own a copy of it. I just want to read it, man. Is a business, the person is a businessman, so if anyone's going to read it... Can I, uh... Can I ask one of the house attendants? Like, walk up to one? Yeah. Uh, here's the would be right Monsieur? I, I look at... Mr. Mister. Two or... Ask him to give me a tour. Uh, am I not with you anymore? Uh, in French, you 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 ask the no of the house. To you don't give... know the house, Wolf. That's fair. You will ask him to give the woman. Uh, sorry, you will ask the the attendant to like give him a tour. The woman, <laughs> you you are about to be beat. Of course, of course, sir. Uh, she seems to like sort of motion for your name. Joker. Uh. She seems mildly confused. Joke, yeah. You're so shitty and just nods his head. She just uh, sort of like puts up her hands in defeat and sort of starts walking around and expl walking her, uh, walking you guys through, first through like a sort of the sort of living room. There's a large CRT um, sort of uh, upon a stand where. Uh, one would uh, enjoy a nice day or whatever. Uh, there appeared to be uh, a little bit of dust where some kind of device was put next to it. It's not really easy to tell what. However, it's on, relatively the, rectangular. The woman, did the woman understand English? No. Yeah. Okay. That lets me do something. And she sort of uh, keeps walking. Or she didn't seem to understand English. And she keeps sort of walking around and ex explaining the uh, main... She starts with the main rooms and then she goes off to, like, there's the garage. It's a two-car garage with plenty of space. Or it's actually a three-car garage with plenty of space for everything you could possibly need. Uh, workplace, whatever you want to do here. Uh, then she goes upstairs uh, to the second floor. Goes through a bunch of bedrooms. There's an office space. There's a parlor room with a... Uh, sort of a uh, nice piano in it um where there's like a table designated for like tea drinking or and it's just a uh, pleasantries and then she uh guides uh them up to the final floor which is the master bedroom and it appears to be a very fine sort of uh room with a king size bed and just a bunch of uh, different places. Uh, um, master ensuite with a uh, jacuzzi bath in it and all that. Yeah, of course. I lean to, uh, to my interpreter and tell him, ask her how much everything costs. Which one? Is, which one of us is it? Uh, Juzo. All right. Since he since he has already established himself as speaking to the lady. Um, 
Jizza will kind of ask for the cost in francs. In francs? And the... All right, give me a second. I and do... USD. And... Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do some conversions real quick. Give me a second. <laughs> uh, math or calculator. So I have a bank account, right? It is uh, two million six hundred and twenty-five thousand francs. And in USD, that is 525,000. Uh, Drizzle would just turn to the turn back to Joker and just. Uh, wait, hold on. How, how much in USD again? Uh, 525. Okay. $525,000. Okay. It seems to be undersold a little bit from what you can tell. What, uh. Oh, it, I can tell it's undersold? That, yeah, just based off of the house, how nice it is, it's undersold. Ask her what's contributing to the, to the price. Uh, reasons. Uh, yeah, then he would, Jesus would just go ask for the reasons for the price. Oh, yes, uh, she sort of explains that recently, uh, a man named Maurice Lavoy uh, had died here, uh, via strangulation. Uh, security enhancements have been put on the house, however, it has made it quite hard to sell, and thus they have uh, had to uh, decrease the price more than they would have liked. Uh, will kind of like throw a bro and like ask, did someone like break in into the house? That is, she sort of uh, explains that we're not 100% sure, there were no signs of forced entry, however, Clearly, somebody must have got inside, because the man's dead. Uh, I'm gonna perk in here. Were they I'm gonna, any signs of regular entry? I was gonna, I was gonna ask a question. I uh, and, and then he, she just sort of says, "There's always signs of regular entry. Entry. There was a lot of people that came in and out of here." He'll, uh, he'll, he'll. Uh, I have, a, I have a question. I have a question. So, please. Yeah. What will we'll yeah. we'll fill? What will we'll fill before you yeah. turn? Yeah. I, I want. I want to ask first off the obvious question, of which which room did he die in? Oh, the uh, he died in the parlor. The well, parlor. Uh, is that where we are now? No, you're in the master right, so bedroom. So as this, as this whole conversation is going on, and I didn't immediately get a translation, my guy is looking back and forth between people, getting a bit more confused. I uh, to what like they're saying. All right, I'm gonna roll. Yes, I did. No. Nope. Yes, I did. Boy, how oh, he's doing? That. Wait, how old are you, guys? Right. Oh, how old 32. are you? Okay. Thirty-two. Yeah, okay. uh, I just kind of tap your shoulder, like on the side. Kind of just turns. What are, what what are they saying? What are they saying? Uh, Jesus will kind of explain everything he asks, and then we'll start translating essentially everything Wolf was asking, and her answer. Uh, ask her to take us to the parlor. Uh, ask her. Ask her on the alley the parlor, which is just can we go to the parlor, please, Madame? Of course. Wait, the 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 attendant is wait, hold on. Yes, this is a female attendant. A, a right, female realtor that we go to the uh uh Jesus will ask yeah will ask. I just asked well, Wolf is with us. I know I realized that and I was in the he, middle saying he, it, she gives it. a light nod before saying of course, of course. She then uh motions for them to follow as he sort of walks his way or she sort of walks her way down back down uh the secondary staircase and onto the main uh onto the second floor again. Uh, leading to a nice sort of parlor room, which has a grand, or not a grand, pi well, a grand piano, pretty much, uh, alongside uh, a nice sitting area where one would drink tea, uh, a cabinet full of uh, seemingly imported china. Juju would inspect the china. <laughs> Why? You're Japanese. This isn't your specialty. All right. Uh, roll. Roll china. Roll what are you checking it for? Hold on. 
Oh, it's uh, like just make. Is there chairs or something? Oh, uh, uh, yes, there's uh, there's uh, there's seating. I have a question. Uh, yes. For, is there like a couch? The... Is it cushioned? Or... It's like a it's it's a cushioned uh, chair. It's like two. Uh, there's two on one side. That's like two uh, sort of disparate like armchairs, and then the other side is like a love seat, which is like a two side. A... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna like oh, can I am I sit lay on the love seat? All right, so. Um, I'm, I'm, first, I want to start off. If I ever say something in French or sounds like French, that's me trying to be in character. I'm going to speak in French just naturally because otherwise I don't know how else to represent them in character. But my, my question. Were there any... Are there any mementos left of the previous owner? Were, has this house been altered in any way since since his death? Uh, she sort of nods and says, uh, we've taken down quite a few... Uh, we, we had to redo uh, quite a few parts of the house. We... A lot of the uh, paint was uh, getting old. We had to uh, rip out some wallpaper on uh, within the parlor. Actually, we had to rip out some wallpaper. But but within the china, for example, that's is it. That the previous owners. Uh, we believe or... so. Yes, we found or just... he we found it in uh, storage upstairs, uh, not being used. Ah ah, uh, I see. I see. So in this room in particular, where how much what thing ah no this is this may be a bit of a weird question but my friend here um he has a he has a bit of an interest in buying things that get big names that get attract attention and frankly as far as americans go there's nothing as interesting as a murder how much of this room is the way it was when the uh, the previous owner died? Um, she sort of like uh, continues on and says, "A uh, good portion of it. We ripped out uh, some of the we ripped out the floorboards in this room, replaced them with similar ones for the original. Uh, there was a light stain from a little bit of blood, and we didn't really want to leave that, and we weren't able to get it out with cleaners, so we ended up replacing the floorboards." Uh, the couch that he was sitting on originally, the love seat over there, that was replaced. Uh, it was a little garish. We didn't think it fit the room very well. The previous one, just out of curiosity, um, as you can probably guess, garish is my uh, my friend's middle name. <laughs> Joker. Yeah, as, I'm, as I start reclining more back on the. Uh... The Joker the seat, and I just kind of fiddle with my gold chain. <laughs> I'm looking jo around the room. Do I see anything? Uh, okay. roll scrutiny. Uh, okay. I think it's investigation for this. Scrutiny's I've, as far I'm if I remember. Looking around the room. So you're just perception. Okay. Or perception. Can I, can I, can I, uh... okay. okay, so Please I'm gonna don't make me have a negative on every roll right. I ever right. roll. After after Cal does this, I'm gonna continue my question because uh. Perception I, wisdom. Could I inspect the china for the quality of it? Please thing? let me continue the dialogue. Bro, yeah, I literally asked it before the thing. <laughs> yes, you can. That would be. Fuck. What skill set would that be? Um. If you want a specific spe scrutiny? investigate scrutiny based be scrutiny. in intelligence. Uh, what is it? Wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom for wisdom. perception. All right. Twenty-one. Um, inside of the room, uh, the floorboards look a little off. They don't really match the rest of the house exactly like you'd expect. Uh, the walls themselves seem sort of off tinge. They don't seem the right, quite the right tinge as expected, as you'd expect for the rest of the house. The paint seems a little off. Um, uh, the china over in the thing seems like it was uh, recently cleaned, which is odd considering it was... It, it's on a relatively, relatively, in quotation marks, dusty for the house, uh, china, like, holder. Um, the chair you're on feels oddly new in comparison to the other two chairs across the way. And that's really all you notice. Uh, I, as, like, she's pointing out all the things uh, they replaced, uh, it's very visible that my eyes are going to all these different things. And when I look at the China set, right, I pause. Anyway, continue your dialogue. Uh, Juzo, okay. in regards to... Sorry, I have to so answer sorry. his role as well. Um, 
looking over the china you're not the best with this kind of stuff but looking over it, it seems like it's a relatively uh, probably two years old based off of the yeah. uh, there's some slight uh like dents and uh, cracks and oh that was where wear and tear to it it's not too significant um it appears uh clean oddly clean like it was just recently cleaned um you're not sure of the exact age but you know it's a few years old and it likely was in storage because the rest of the cabinet is relatively dusty in what relatively in comparison it's certainly not dusty significantly it's just noticeably in comparison in contrast rather uh anyhow Dan um I was going to ask about the uh the previous couch and um what it looked like but I suppose along the lines of things that were left the way they were when the murder happened did the um did the victim keep anything like a personal memento memento in here in here we uh she sort of points over to a uh some sort of self portrait of a a sort of a man that's sort of the only way to describe him is Moorish sort of uh he looks like oh. a Moorish Moorish. individual Moorish French some kind of combination of that. You're not really sure. A portrait of him, and she says, I believe that was a painting of his father that he had commissioned. Uh, it's a Moorish man in relatively uh, nice-looking clothing from a... What, um, was the, what was the email's name, by the way? But um, you don't know anything about that. No, I mean, like, what was the the computer's name? I'm mean, just asking as a meta question. Oh, uh, the per like, the name mentioned? Yeah. Uh, Josephine oh. LaRue. Alright, so Whoa, there's okay. no way. Chris already changed it halfway through. Or Devereux, sorry. De Devereux. Sorry. Josephine Devereux. I... I got the name. I was close. Uh, if you're wondering how to spell uh, Devereux, it's D-E-V-E-R-E-U-X. Uh, I don't uh, particularly care for the name itself. I just wanted to know because I wasn't sure how much I remembered it. I'll be back in a minute. Uh, from what you can tell, looking... Or, actually, you wouldn't know anything about that. Anyhow, yeah, that, that, there's a there's a portrait of a Moorish man uh, in fine-looking clothing. And she sort of uh, gives a light explanation that that was his father. And it's one of the few things that were in the will that we couldn't remove from the house. Alright. Um, I assume his father is dead as well? Uh, we believe so, yes. I'm going to inspect the painting a little bit. Would that be scrutiny? Yep, scrutiny. Intelligence? Intelligence. Wait, one... Scrutiny, that is zero. Intelligence, that is also zero. 20, not 20. What are you looking for exactly? I want to search for... I want to search for specifically anything I can gleam in terms of information regarding the victim's personal life. Or life regarding... He, this was clearly an important photo. It's so much. It's so not a photo, it's a, left here. it's a portrait. A pig painting. Portrait. It's clearly very much important to the victim. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what that says. What I can glean from that. The fact that it's present, what the how the portrait's styled, and who the, who okay. the portrait is of, the for father. I'm trying let, to... let me explain the portrait in a little more detail for you then. So looking deeper into the portrait, the, it's sort of a solemn image of a man sort of not looking too, too happy or too, too sad to be where he is. Sort of, sort of just a business look, sort of staunch and stoic, shall we say. He's got his hands folded one over the other, specifically right over the left, uh, as he's sitting in a grandiose sort of uh, 
desk chair with a red sort of velvet back. Um, behind there is a, uh, a a large window that seems to look upon the sea. Uh, it seems to be that uh, that looking outside the window of the top floor would have a or of the the top floor uh, area. You remember looking outside of that for a moment and seeing a very similar sight of the sea. Uh, however, it being a little different because of the uh, uh, marina that's the top, out there now. The top floor of this house. Yes. All right. That would tell me that this painting was poor painted here. And beyond that, is there anything else I glean from this? Uh, besides that, uh, the uh, painting of the Moorish man appears to be older, um, likely before the child, this, uh, uh, whatever his name, fuck. The, the victim? The victim uh, had uh, been born, uh, but just based off of the age, it it's um, it looks to be the man is in his early 30s mid 30s and it, it doesn't seem to portray any sort of wife or anything why would this man why would the victim want a painting of a, his father from a day and time when he wasn't even born all right i don't think it did world war 2 painting how old is it, how old well, if there's no like motherly figure, there's no motherly figure. figure the picture, so this... Then we can either reason they had a shotgun married, or... or the father fathered the child very late. Yeah. So the father would be quite old. Which would mean he'd be around my age. Yeah. Which is an unpleasant find. Um. With this, I'm now going to explain uh, in English. I think I'm going to explore the upstairs for a bit. This mm. painting looks. This painting intrigues me, and I think I know where it might have been painted. I'm going to investigate there for a bit. Would any of you care to join me? Uh, Joker will stand up. And uh, walk over to a china cabinet, kind of run his finger on it, collecting a little dust, looking at it a bit. He's like, "Yeah, let's go." I'm going to thank the, uh, the I'm going to thank the attendant um, for the time and say that we're going to explore a bit more of the house on our own, but we'll come back with a uh, with an idea of whether or not we'll purchase it. Uh, she. Of course, thanks you for coming, and then heads back downstairs to go mingle with the other individuals. All right. So we're, I'm going to walk towards the area where I have a suspicion it was painted. All right. So you walk upstairs, and uh, well, the well, rooms... Can I dialogue? Yeah, sure. So uh, what'd you learn? Well... What we all get? The man in the painting is obviously old, and that's coming from someone like me. But... The painting looked familiar. The view of the sea was familiar. I believe it was painted in this house. And given the fact that it's still there and that the attendant mentioned that it was part of the will, there must have been some importance to the victim. Which, on its own, would seem like nothing. But you looked at the painting yourself, no? The man didn't look too old. In the painting, the man was ripe, young enough. But there were, it was just a portrait of himself. There was no evidence of anything else. Chris, I don't know if you mentioned it or not, but is he wearing like a red wedding ring? Uh, he doesn't ha seem to have any rings on his fingers. He, he did not have any proof of a marriage. He didn't show any evidence of a uh, compagna. What's the word? Wife. He certainly couldn't pro have had a kid yet. Wait, the victim, the victim was way too young to have the uh, the time of this painting, the portrait. So we must ask ourselves why. What's so important that the victim felt the need to insist that his 
a portrait of his father from a time long gone stayed up. Uh, uh it could have been like I can think of it. a picture of his father's like youth, you know, when he was in a prime. But that doesn't matter once you're dead. So why would it uh, need to stay up? Well, surely you want to remember your like parents when they like prime and they when they like, you know, happy, healthy. Yeah. Not when they're sick, old, and broken. But it doesn't matter when you yourself are dead. The the will didn't state. The will, the will I'm referring to isn't the father's, but the victim's. The victim insisted that the portrait stayed up. Why? Who's going to honor the youth of someone who's dead and the the offspring of that person is also dead? Maybe you did it in advance of thinking you'd have children. Maybe, but from every piece of evidence so far, his father's already dead. If not, he's older than me for sure. I mean, do you, do you tell your parent? Do you, would you tell your children about someone they never met? About someone who died before they were born and expected them to revere and honor this man? Yes, we have tamanias in Japan. They're like oh yes, I forgot you're Japanese. Deceased people, kind of like mini but, shrines. All right, so I uh, I take your response of deadpan yes and ignore it. I mean, and I turn to the text. I I'm told of my uh, my grandpa. I never met him, but he served in the war. But he did something honorable for that. But you don't, you get told. Well, we don't know the path of this man. Yeah, I, I'm confused why you're zeroing in on this. Uh, I, I don't understand why this one picture is important to you. For you wait with the man of the house at some time. He made a, he got a portrait of himself, and now it's still hanging. Upon, upon entering the... Am I free to go, or are you guys going yeah, to continue? Yeah, I, I don't have a response. So I was I... about to say, like, hell, maybe they just liked the picture. Upon entering, no... okay, am I? Uh, yeah, I was. I had nothing else to say, but you kept speaking. Okay. Am I free to go? Yes. Mm -hmm. Upon once more entering the upstairs, you look upon the site that you thought there, that it was once. There appeared to be scuff marks around that window that you, you are looking upon it now. It's the exact window. Scuff marks as in signs of movement? Signs something of got scuff. moved. It, no, it's it scuff marks as says like a, a piece of furniture was moved or something. Something Away that, from something, the thing or uh, to the thing? Uh, it was moved off. Like there was, like it was moved out of that place. Out to the window or out to us? What uh, was behind it was sort man? of like, it was, it was like dragged a little bit and then it was like, the drag marks just sort of ended. What was behind the man in the uh, uh, behind the man was the window alongside a few sort of like, uh, just uh, general paintings, right? They're and not very impressive. Those, paint and those paintings the aren't, there? they're not there anymore. Right, but they wouldn't be in the, where the scratch marks are. So it wasn't like there was some piece of, like, big furniture behind them. Like, no, no. no it, it, it seems that there might have been, like, the hints of a bookshelf off to the right. But it's sort of like the edges of it, so it's hard to tell. There's no more. There's no longer a bookshelf there. But there's no bookshelf there either, and there's a few scuff marks from that. But it seems to have been mostly what faded kind of, away. Like what is this? Like the same kind of scuff marks, or are they different? They're different. It's from a weightier object. Where's Brandon? <laughs> I'm still in the office, I guess. Aren't isn't this the same floor as the office? No. This yes. Is, uh, this is a different floor. This is this the, the office. Well, is I mean, could, the could office is on the second floor. The office is on the second floor, and on the third floor is where the master bedroom is. How, how long was he just sitting there in the office? Uh, he was probably hacking for a while. That's all I have to say in response. All right. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. You talk amongst yourselves. I will continue when I get back. Yeah, so, uh, what, was, what were you all talking about different. with the, uh, lady? Hi... I was asking her about the victim. Well, no, uh, before that, like, uh, well, okay, I don't know if it was before that, but, like, in the beginning, you, like, gestured at me for something. Ah. They made mention of removing a piece of furniture for being too flashy, too extravagant, so to speak. 
And I mentioned that you are the type of person to very much enjoy those displays of wealth. And I was very curious at what to at what that piece of furniture was, but decided it would be irrelevant to the victim. Alright. Uh what do you find, uh Asian boy? <laughs> Head over chase in China. Anything like on the China? Is it just some China? Uh, it was probably recently in storage. Right, okay, so they cleaned it for the open house. Cool. Uh, anyone seen Carl? He was down to like on the second floor. I think we saw him earlier at the tour. Have we, have we checked in on him? No, I didn't. Alright, I guess uh, we'll go see him after this. So these are, uh, are the scuff marks, like at the window, like in front of the window. Chris isn't here, so we can't figure that out. Well, I mean, I thought maybe you guys heard better than me. I don't know. Uh, no, I don't. I'm just a Texas Ranger. A big gun on on my head. Anyway, I'm also well, going to use back. I'll be back. Welcome back. Are the scuff marks, like, on the window, like... They're, they're not on the window sill. No, it's, it's it's in front of the window by about two foot, where and where they start. Like in the center of the room. No, they're the rooms a it's the rooms about twenty foot wide. They're about two foot. Right, from but it. they're not like on the wall. No, they're not on the wall. Oh, there was like some standing furniture here. Yeah, something that was just sort of sitting there. Uh okay. How big? About like, the. Are, are the corners scuffed? It's just the corners areas and a bit of the back oh. or a bit of the well back of what you just or back of whatever this object would be so how wide? about seven foot did it go through the wall no it it it, comp it it just sits center stage it appears to be rather wide and heavy then it couldn't be something like a bookshelf. Yeah, it could what? be. Well, yeah, it could be a bookshelf. But, but it couldn't. It, I, I doubt it would be. It would, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It couldn't be something like a bookshelf. No I mean, man. A bed. Beds a, are like. But this is. Uh, what it's, is this room? What would it's you not wide enough as? to be a bed. What would you well, describe this room as? It's a bedroom. What room are we in? Uh, this is bedroom? the master bedroom. And there was some just standing furniture in the middle of the room. Relatively, yes. Was it like a nightstand? That was like, or like at the foot of the bed, like. Is Carl upstairs? No, oh, I'm still on the second floor. Okay. I don't. Seven foot long piece of furniture. A casket. About... Like I don't. It's know seven foot long and about three foot, uh, three and a half foot wide. Uh, yeah. So the only thing I'm thinking about is like fucking a long ass bookshelf. But like, uh, why would that be like a fucking dresser? Cow. You know? Seven foot long, three foot wide? I know you jokingly suggested casket, but uh, those are the dimensions for the average human being, then given some for... Um... Well, wait, but wait, caskets are hexagon. This is a are rectangle. Well, this no. is a rectangle. Okay, that's... These so stuff marks are rectangular. The, it, de it depends on the point of impact. Like the, what the, the fuck is it? Is there a casket in the fucking place? Uh, not from what we could see. This... <laughs> what the fuck? Why would there be a casket here? <laughs> yes, we're about to sell this. Put the casket away, boys. Right. Uh, seven foot by three foot. And it's yep. a rectangle. Yep. I know a lot of caskets are actually rectangles. Three foot's kind of thin. Three foot's kind of thin, but usually they're we they're measured so that like by the elbows, right? I suppose... Do we have any sort of dimensions on the person that died here? No. Do we have a physical description. No, that wouldn't uh, make sense. They're about uh, five wait, foot. Why we have a physical description? You do. Uh, no. They're about five foot uh, seven, uh, relatively on the short side for a male. Um. 
they were of Moorish descent, sort of darker skin. Um, were they a black white hair. boy or skinny boy? But they Cal, were we, relatively I think we're going lanky. Down the wrong path. Cal, I think we're going down the wrong path. The victim has died recently. There's no way you'd get these. How old are these scratch marks? They're pretty old. There's no way you'd get these scratch marks from the victim. Hey, but like maybe it's a family ghost, you know? So, so, what's how big was the father? Maybe it's a vampire. You have no information on the father. Based, I mean, off the painting, how big would you roughly guess the father? Uh, he's only a little bit taller than his son, about five he foot would nine. Get have uh, but he's a little reference. The, a little bulkier. Uh, he's about he 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 looks like he was a uh, stronger build than his uh, son, who was a rather lanky. How big but, of a bone can you throw? <laughs> I don't understand. There's fucking four scratch marks in the corner. Rectangular off. It's freestanding in the room. There's not like there was something behind it, but now it's moved. Okay. So it it's gone. So where did they store things? My character doesn't know they have a storage place, but your guys. Do. Doesn't know how he has a. Excuse me? That there's so a place that they're putting all these out. objects. They have to have somewhere. Well, yeah, my person can infer that. The, well, they they, they uh, mentioned, like, where they stored objects. Uh, they made a mention of an attic, did they not? I thought they did. Chris, they did make a mention of the attic. Yes, they? they did. And specifically, so, uh, upon looking, uh, you see a small attic door, uh, or, well, uh, a small attic door that you can access about that would be about six or uh, a little shorter than the average male about five foot five in height uh, slightly rose off the ground with a uh, lock on it all right uh, uh is the lock unlo is the lock unlocked or no, open? no it is it is locked oh, let me play the game sorry Alright, let's go ask her to look at the old furniture, because you said I like looking at the old... You said the couch was extravagant, they probably put it in here. So, uh, mm. let's say, let's ask if I can see. I suppose that would be a very good idea. I, I'm a little All bit right, taken aback. I'm not like, a breaking character for a nine-intelligent person. But... Yeah, no, I'm actually kind of taken aback. One, you're American. Two, you've actually understood how an uh, open house works. Three, you've... Manage to be polite and not commit crime. <laughs> All right, so I'm not a mob member. <laughs> a casino owner, not a mob member. Pick one. Uh, the the mob member, the mob didn't own the casino. At this point. So, so I'm going to go downstairs, I'm gonna get follow. the attendant, and I'm going to like, lead. Actually, yeah, feel free. Because like I'm the person. Tell her to follow right behind. Uh, ask her the question. It's the same attendant you found her again. She was uh, sort of intermingling yeah. with other people, but she sort of was straight off a little bit. I'm gonna be like, excuse me, Um, you mentioned replacing the the furniture in the uh in the parlor. I assume you've done so with many other places in this house. I would, assuming it's still there, like a look in the attic. I assume that's where you've left everything. Oh, yes, of course. Or... Let, let me go get the key. She sort of uh, walks off a little bit and goes and collects a key from some sort of a... Uh, it's another man, but uh, or it's a different man, but uh, who looks relatively more gruff a little bit. He's got a, a beard, and he looks older, like he's in his 40s, and she collects a key from... He, she asks for a key, and she he hands it to him. Her hands it to her. She then walks back over and says, Come with me. She then walks back up the stairs and back up the second set of stairs and over Did to the... Did she say, come with me in bur butchered English? No, no, no. Say it she, in French. She said it in French. Okay. And then she, she goes over to the, like, it's a, it's not like a padlock, but it's like a, it's like one of those... It's a lock. She it's goes, lock. unlocks it, pulls off the lock, and then opens the door and says, go right ahead. Let's see. I step in. Inside of this attic, it is a slightly dank, not great smelling space. Maybe a little bit of mold in the air, you're not quite sure. How, how dark is it? It's it's pretty much pitch black. There's a little bit of dim light Why? that comes in from the far end. Uh, on both far ends. 
Don't you have a flashlight? Do I have a Oh yeah, he gave us flashlights, didn't he? Yep. I pull out my flashlight. Yep. yep. And I, uh, turn it on. Alright, so you, uh, turn on the flashlight and there's a bunch of old stuff in here. Just a lot of old oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Like... Were you on my sheet just now? I am on your sheet, yes. Hog. I'm God on, is watching. I'm on everyone's sheet, so... Yeah, I know. So? Old shit. You're anonymous lemur, then. I maybe, I don't know. So we're, uh, in the attic and there's old shit. Yeah, so you're going and looking around, and there's a bunch of old stuff, really. There's, pa like, the, you, those paintings from the portrait, they're there. Just sort of, they've collected a lot of dust at this point, but they're just sort of sitting, uh, leaned against a sort of random object that didn't even stand out much to you. Um, however, the, uh, the two things that you couldn't uh, find were the desk, or from the portrait, that were here, the desk and the desk. Or, well, you you couldn't find the desk, but you found the desk chair up here. How long was the desk? Uh, it seemed to be about seven foot and three and a half foot wide. And this so, desk. By rules of mystery finding, we need to locate the missing desk. Now, by the rules of mystery finding, let's assume. No, by the rules of a by very the rules important... of actual investigation, why the fuck it doesn't matter. Why, why the, are we interested in this guy? Why Why are we interested in the The reason why I'm interested in the portrait Is because I'm trying to figure out what the victim was fucking thinking Because that's the only way Because in my character's mind That's the only way we'll figure out what links this specific victim To the, th to the killers Other than the, the school And the school doesn't seem like Doesn't make sense as a com complete link it goes to me. Because what like if they're all in a friend group and they all did something and they then they all died? Yeah, they it's literally... A, it's a, like, dead before daylight situation or something? What is I it? It's a... Uh, they all were at one point in the same school at the same year. I suppose that's... My character just doesn't think that alone would create a ghost. Well, why? What no, if, but it why could they be. All, it what could what be if they to led to the girl's around. death? You know. As you all look, are you guys still looking around the attic? Yeah. Yes. As you all look uh, through the attic, you find a bunch of sort of uh, boxes. However, one of them in particular was labeled the victim's name, and it was uh, simply labeled Maurice's high school stuff, or uh, Maurice's or whatever his name is. I don't remember what I named him. Can I say I found it? Or it was Maurice, I was right. Uh, whoever wants to find it. Maurice, secondary school stuff. Maurice is legible to anyone, and I'm pretty sure his name was Maurice. Hey, y'all, ain't this the, uh, the girl, or the boy, or whatever? The, the, yes, this would appear to be the victim, from what I remember our handler speaking about. Um, I you a flashlight that's on, I guess. Yes, um... And you're in luck, Joker. Les close second there. I know it's le deuxième echo, I think is the word for it in French. Um this would be what you want. Information regarding the school and Maurice's connection to it. Until dawn. Shall we and until dawn? Yeah, I think you're talking about until dawn. <laughs> Sorry, I'm. <laughs> I've been stuck. Okay, continue. <laughs> Are you guys gonna open it? I suppose we should. You guys all lift off the head of this. It's it's a it's a generic cardboard box, and you look inside, and uh, there appears to be a bunch of mementos. There's some like, what what we would assume is his class ring, which had the year that you were. Uh, the, the graduating year, the, the highest of the range of the graduations, as in, like, the soonest to graduate. It had that year on it. Alongside, uh, several, um, alongside several yearbooks for each of the years that he was there. Um, and one thing that stood out was a small, sort of, a uh, book uh, with a, one of those, uh, the, you know how in books sometimes there's the, 
uh, bookmark that's just sort of a part of the book, like the sort of cloth one, mm -hmm. sticking all the way about halfway through the book. I open it. Uh, it's all in French. All right. Wow, this is uh, real. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. Mm. Uh huh. Wee oui, wee oui. baguette. Anyway, French boy, hand it to. <laughs> All yeah, right, to Leon. <laughs> I'm going to now look at this. Remind me what the book is, because I've already forgotten. It's a small sort of, uh, sort of burgundy book, uh, with uh, slightly tattered and very dusty pages. Is there any title to it, or is it just? It has no title, and looking upon it, uh, you see a lot of dates and a lot of Oops. just sort of personal stuff. So you can assume that this is a journal. Let's read it. Start from the oldest entry. Uh, the no, oldest. Oh, it had a bookmark page. Oh, Rocky. Start from the start from the book. <laughs> start from the oldest entry. Start from the bookmark page. I, I okay. will take it from you and give it to the chap the Japanese boy. Right the fuck. Uh, down. the bookmark from... page, um, uh, appears to highlight a specific memory. One might think. Uh, it specifically says that old painting. Uh, or. You can't tell when this was last disturbed or touched, by the way, but it seems to be the latest entry, and it was around uh, the fi the year of his graduation, a little bit before it. I finally had Josefina over to my house, and when we were in... And we fucked. And when we were in the no. parlor together, okay. yeah, <laughs> she uh, commented on the painting, saying that she liked it very much. She said that it showed my father to be a strong man, despite him still now being sickly in his current state. Mm. I took it to heart, and I really do appreciate the words that she said. Hmm, this means, this shows alone that he really valued her opinion, and you following the rules of mystery, that means he's a simp. <laughs> no, really, um... He's not black, so he, he clearly wasn't the first victim. Um, he was, he is black. Moors, more, Moorish people are black. They're Moroccan. Yeah. Morocco. Clearly, this isn't a Clearly, He died a month Clearly, ago. this is a thriller. So, following the rules of thriller, actually. That no, wait, means... yeah. No, no, yeah. Clearly, this isn't a thriller. This is a mystery. So, following the rules of horror mystery, this person is a love interest, because why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's gonna be a love triangle. It's gonna be a love triangle. Uh, no, but seriously. Oh, you know what? The love interest is going to be one the one that died, right? And the then, Josefina. um... Yeah, 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 she's gonna be the dead one. And then, uh... The others are gonna be all, like, re somehow related to her. No, Chris, is this, like, this a... Was, like... Chris, is this, like, a psycho situation? I don't know. Chris, you know, do you know <laughs> I, what I'm talking I, about? I get fucking upset, Chris. Chris, you, Chris, you know what I'm talking about? Like the uh, Psycho as in like the the movie? No, Psycho as in the blade from an anime. Then I have no fucking clue what you're I'm, talking about. Uh, I'm going to explain it in the biggest. Blade that uh, loves people. And the oh. only way it can express love is through cutting people. Isn't that from fucking Durara? No. Yes. No, I remember that now. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, no, I know, I know the sword. Please say no. Just say no. Uh, and no, it is not that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, this this ghost isn't just trying to love people and ends up choking them because she's really. <laughs> it's not a yandere ghost. It's not no, a yandere it's not ghost. Even... Just a psychotic ghost. It's no. Um... Yeah. All right. So my my big theory is uh, love interest died and uh, well she was like betrayed somehow. Maybe uh, one of her friends cheated with the boy and then she like was so distraught because she caught them or something. She ran away and got ran over. Car, you're still it's looking through the PC, until right? Dawn. It's just until dawn. Uh, well, I thought I could go, get all I could, but I guess I'll retry to. Get no, I, I'm just wondering. Are you still looking through? Uh, yeah. You find a few financial reports uh, of recent times that you're, you're just sort of mindlessly looking through everything, right? And one of the specific things you noticed is that there was a a downturn on his finances for a while before a sudden upturn again, about uh, two months ago. Drug money. About two months ago. 
He's dealing straight math. How much money did he make? Uh, well, it's just an upturn. It doesn't appear to be a significant amount. However, it's a sudden how upturn. Was, how much was the debt? He wasn't in debt. He was just on the downturn of his finances. How much was the debt? <laughs> he was. He was definitely waning in his finances. He was doing pretty poorly in terms Is of. Is there any way I could attempt to get more files? Um, roll computer. <laughs> restore, restore files. Yes, no. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, so you managed to get a good few other files. And a lot of them are just sort of more financial reports of years past. Like, it goes back a while. And going through them, uh, a lot of them sort of... He seemed to be on the uptick for a good few years before he hit a sudden downturn around uh, 1982. And he was on a st steady downward trend for about... Uh, five years before that uptick again in um, about two months ago. Yeah, all these, There's uh, all also these mentions players. of uh, a deal with the casino in an email, but it doesn't have any details. Yo, don't dirty my, casi my casino, brother. However, it doesn't have anything specific. And that was about uh, four months ago, and it, it and then another email said that the deal seemed to fall through. I will be right back. Right. Uh, yeah, this is just until dawn. Sorry, guys. Bruh. What? My windows now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, that'd be in back from my back. Fashion. Oh well. Uh, well, it's not a it's not a yonder area goes, so it well, can't be like I'm love like interest betrayed. Man, I still think we're too early in the investigation to come into any of those conclusions. Uh, but clearly, it has to do with high school, and one group of people. Uh, yes. We don't know who this other girl. is. She's the love interest, obviously. Um, and I'm gonna guess she's the dead one, and that's gonna be like a plot twist, you know. Like we're gonna find that out at like the second to last place we investigate, and then she's gonna be at the last one. We'll see. And then we're gonna dispel her there, right? And uh, it's the plot twist is gonna be, ooh, she's gonna haunt. Uh, she made like a vague threat one time, to like. As a 14-year-old girl and freshman in high school, just like, yeah, I'm gonna kill you. How dare you say that about my hair? Turns out she actually did kill them. Um, and that's why you don't be bullies. It's all just a PSA. Don't bully or you might get haunted, like, three years down the line. It wasn't three years. I'm pretty sure it was, like... Five or something. Several years down the line. Don't bully. They'll still kill themselves and then haunt you and kill you. Oh, it's getting kind of late. Yes, it is. Yeah, I do wanna get going soon. You want to stop here, or? Well, Chris is amazing. No, let's finish, like, investigating this house, then. <sighs> Yo, I just want to say... Um, I'm terrified. Why? Uh, Cal, did I explain to you that Canuck has been watching my videos, like, all the way through? Well, I don't know why you're terrified. Cal? I don't know who Canuck is. He's one of the, he's just someone on the 700th. Yeah, no, I saw the images. These are three different videos. Yeah, I saw the images. The man watched an hour and 42 minutes of me playing Arma. Okay. The average person watches 10 seconds. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Wolf. I'm sorry that I made your average fucking 10 seconds. <laughs> Dude, I'm terrified. All my videos will no longer- will pale in comparison. And? What if Look, you my... like, fell asleep last night and I somehow got in his recommendation? No, 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 he's actually, like, referenced events. What what videos is he watching? He's watching the 700 Cadian ones. Oh, 700. Cringe. Because he's in the 700, yeah. Cringe. It started with him, like, uh, first off, it started with him, like, I want to watch the video of the op you recorded of mine. And I was like, yeah, sure. And then uh, he was like, oh, I'm going to watch more because I, I find this kind of interesting. And I'm like, okay. wait, 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 no, 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 you can't do that. I'm back. Hi back. I'm dead. Please stop talking. Kill yourself. <laughs> I plan on it. Um. All right. Where did we leave off? Sorry, I had to go take a shit. I found more files on. The okay, yeah. Computer. Yeah, the most of the other files seem rather boring, innocuous, uninteresting. Various other ways to describe it. Billing files. Woo! Yeah. Yay. Pretty much, uh, not that interesting, really. Well, we found a journal. Look through all the books uh, again? Are there uh, drawers on this desk? Uh, there do appear to be drawers, yes. Uh, one of them appears to be locked. However, the rest of them just sort of have various files and whatnot. I attempt to just like, fucking yank the locked one open, like just pull on it so hard that the lock just gives in. Roll strength. Fuck. Like, you just straight strength. Straight strength. Nineteen. You yank on it, and you yank on it, and you yank on it, and nothing. You did not come. You feel that it got looser, but also you can't really tell because, oh my god, my hand fucking hurts from trying to yank on this. And as you uh, sort of stand, sit there, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the attendants sort of walked in and said, Are you alright, sir? I heard a lot of uh, ruckus in here. Does he say that in French? Yes. Uh, ain't no Yankees gonna run. Wait, no, Yankees are the North one. In English. Just he's she like, sort of nods for a second and says, "Are you okay?" Or, or like something like that. Immediately goes, goes to Asian. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Uh, but I want to get like them. really terrible English. Oh, I, I go for Asian first. Are, I'm all right. oh, are you okay? There. I'm all right. Do you have a key for this drawer? She sort of didn't understand. She sort of just sort of walks away and grabs a comes back upstairs a few moment a few minutes later with a older gentleman in uh a suit, uh gruff uh, stoic face, sort of looking just like, unhappy. Oh, hello there. <laughs> and he says, "I am sorry for my compatriot. Uh, I, I'm, so I, oh, fuck, I can't do a deep voice and a French voice." I am sorry. I am. I am sorry for my compatriots. How can I help you? Oh, that's all right. Uh, do you have a key for this drawer, or any way to unlock it? Yes, I have it. The uh, key is currently not here. It's one of the few keys I do not have on me. Uh, Alright, uh, do you know what was in these drawers? I believe that drawer had some, uh, black book or something. I suspect it was a journal of some sort. I didn't read it. Decided not to read the, uh, uh, words of a dead man. Felt it was wrong. Well, uh, thank you. Is there anything that you think I might find interesting about the house? Like the history or just 
anything. I saw you earlier. You came in with your compatriots, yes? Uh, yes. Do you happen to know where they are, actually? Uh, yes, the last place I saw them, they were in the, uh, the upstairs. They had just asked my, uh, the attendant, uh, the attendant that had been with them for most of the day, uh, to go into the attic. I believe the attic should still be open for them, so if you'd like to go join them, you are free to. Alright, uh, did they ex you know, look around anywhere before the attic? They spent a while in the parlor and in the upstairs overall. Uh, otherwise... Can you take me to the parlor? Uh, of course, he uh, sort of motions for him to follow as he sort of heads across the hall to a nice parlor. Upon looking in the... Uh, looking in the... what's it called? Upon looking in the room, you see the painting, and straight up, when you look at the painting, you're like, that's not where the desk was before. Why is it in this painting in a different place? Wait a second. Can you say that again? Oh, shit. Can you say that again? I yeah. don't think I can. Oh, do I need to repeat it? Yes. Yeah. You, you look at the painting, and you're like, why is the desk... That's not where the desk was when I was just... Was that like an old painting or you're not really sure it all you know is that it doesn't look like the guy in the painting doesn't look like the guy that you were investigating the death of and that desk that he had didn't look like or it's the same desk but it's in a very different place now it's in his office instead oh. of wherever that is which you're not even sure only brandon knows of uh do you know where this was painted? Like, if this was painted in the house in, like, a room or anything? Oh, yes, yes. It was painted right upstairs, I believe. Right, uh, overlooking the, uh, ocean. Oh, uh, the sea. Sorry, sorry. The map. Not very good and... at... Not very good at uh, English. Oh, uh... uh, so... So Brandon just skipped directly to the end of the puzzle. <laughs> we, we were like, mm, yes, this desk. Hmm, where is this desk? Mm. I, 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 Brandon, I, I, I said it at this desk. Can you I, I take me to that room. No, of I course, of course. But like, I didn't want a meta game because uh, otherwise I wouldn't know there was even a desk. He uh, walks you up the second set of stairs and into the sort of uh, master bedroom, where you see the a door to the attic open, and uh, the window, sort of that same window is there with some scuff marks on the floor that probably were from the desk at one point. You're not really sure. look around the room and see if I notice anything about it. Roll investigation based in intelligence. Roll investigation based? Based on what? Intelligence. Roll Is there a way to make a roll based? Roll based check? 15. 15? Yep. Um, the room itself looks completely normal. Nothing strange seems to have happened in it from what you can tell. Just a standard bedroom with some scuff marks on the floor where maybe there is a desk and a chair and however the painting what? chair didn't look as the same as the chair you were sitting in so you're not really sure about that part. Uh, is there... Oh, no, there is Uh, where do the scratch marks lead? Do they just, like, lead, at, like, towards the door like they were being? Uh, they sort of lead off towards, like, uh, the staircase. And towards so, the no, towards the staircase downward into like the okay. lower floors, sort of leads down to there. Uh, but it's hard to tell because it sort of just brief uh, abruptly stops as like somebody picked it up. Well, I turned to the guy. Uh, thank you very much for showing me. Of course, uh, Monsieur. I will be right downstairs if you need me for anything. Appreciate it. He then uh, sort of takes his leave as he heads back downstairs. Uh, I, you know, walk up the stairs to the attic. Alright, you walk into the attic and you see all of them sort of huddling over a hey, box. How, uh, how big, how big is the box? It's like a solid, like, just a standard cardboard box, really. 
Like when you take up like a cardboard oh, yeah, box. And, uh, you, normal. You think you could uh, fit this uh, book in your bag without anyone noticing? This book in particular? Yeah. I um. I doubt anyone would notice its disappearance. Uh, give me just a second. I think we could take better care of it than they are. He puts the bag. He opens up his bag. He avoids rustling it too much, so uh, the guns don't make too no much noise. No one's gonna hear us if we could talk in this attic without anyone hearing us, bro. No one's gonna know it's a bag rustling. Yeah, I'm gonna try and avoid rustling it anyways, just because he's trying to get into the habit of having guns in his bag. Uh, so he's gonna Is put. Is there the... anything else in the box of note? Uh, yearbooks. Uh, let's. I want to take at least one of the yearbooks. Are you going to take the most recent? the yearbook of the year that, uh... He graduated? Yeah. All right. I do not. Uh, I wanted... I actually know that is a good year, I suppose. Yeah, and then I'm going to also have that put in the bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take those two, and I'm going to put them under the blanket along with, with where the guns are. Is there anything else other than the yearbook in the in there? There's a class ring. Um, you don't need that. I don't actually. I think I it. think that might be a little bit useful. And um, oh my God, we don't we don't want to leave this empty because then it's gonna be suspicious. Yeah, well, actually, they just said they didn't want to read from the dead, so they pro probably so won't mess with. What them. I'm thinking here is this box. This box is specifically of this man's uh, a secondary education life. This man, likely, just keeps this box, kept this box as mementos. What does the ring look like? It's sort of just a standard, normal ring, to a degree. Doesn't look anything too fantastic. Silver band, I think, some kind of blue gemstone. Silver band, blue gemstone. It's a pretty basic ring. It has the engravings of his school in it. But besides that, uh, we care. We I'm, care. I'm going to take the uh, the class ring, and my reasoning for this, both in and out of game, uh, is, uh, on and off for money. All right. No, in in game, in, in game and out of game. Good. I have a suspicion that it may have been important. If we continue, if we continue down the school path. And the fact that clearly this car this victim valued the opinion of uh, Josephina, or whatever her name was, they... Yeah, what they was her name, Chris? Josephine uh, Devereux. Josephine. Josephine. See, so he it... actually knew this person's name off the top of his head, meaning they're more important than this person that died here. Yeah. I so, have it. Actually, that's yeah. not true. It's just have it. It was one of the first things I saw on my other monitor. But so <laughs> well, I'm gonna continue with that narrative anyway. All right. So Fuck. what I'm th right. what, what I'm saying is, the the man. This may be a memory that's important. The memory of school. That we've talked about this theory that school had was the big connector. In that case, so we should take the desk things isn't that. Here, yeah. What? Wow. No, desk is not here. Can I just walk up to them. I'll just, like, walk yeah, up no, I assumed we were having all of this conversation while you were just walking up. Yeah. Hey, just like, oh yeah, take this book. Oh yeah, take the ring. Hey, uh, are any of you good at taking locks? Well, uh, uh I might be. Why? I, I can need, neither uh, confirm nor deny for the court that I am good at picking locks. What do you need? Yeah, I, I need a definite answer before I can... Well, I don't have any lock maybe. So. Uh, Juzo, are you good at picking locks? What skill would be lock picking? Yeah, it shakes his head. Security. That's security. Uh, Not Leon. Are you, uh, are you uno momento, por favor. Why would I um, not be? I have a bit of a familiarity with them, but I'm not necessarily good. I, uh, I'm old. Those were from my, um, my early years. Uh, uh, as a child. I know I got careful hands. Here, so, about uh, the, the best chance I got. Will you follow me? I need uh, to sure thing. Um, fun fact, this man, uh, stole during the Great Depression. Based. Alright. Was right, your so modifier 
out of curiosity? Uh, for security, it's zero, but I have a two in dexterity. Ah, uh, you see, I have a three in the dexterity, but a negative one in. So we're balanced. Security. Perfectly we're balanced. balanced as all things should be. Yeah, yeah, we're we're both equal, but for different reasons. Yes. No, it doesn't. Your, your any... declining age has made your lock picking worse. My uh, financial <laughs> finesse just means I'd be okay at it. All right, so let's. I walk over with uh, Carl. And the, what happens if I uh, reverse time on the book? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> So, um, so I'm here. I just remembered my powers. I'm just like, oh, yeah, of course. So I'm here, and I'm like, do you happen to have... So we're at the desk, yeah? Yeah. I answered. Do you... Do you happen to have any... I would need something to reach into the keyhole with. Uh... Do bobby you pen. happen to have... Well, bobby uh, pen would be can great. Can I close the door behind us? Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at the uh, thing here for paper clips specifically right. because Bobby pins are far less. I, you don't even need to roll for a check. There's a bunch of paper clips just sort of in a jar, or not like a jar, but you, you get what I mean, like a, a, a holder for them. Now I'm going to also look for something like, say, a letter opener. Is there a chair next? Uh, to that door? one will take a little more uh, checking. So you're gonna roll uh, me a good perception check. Perception, just pure perception. Per pure perception. Perception based in wisdom. Perception based in wisdom. Fifteen. All right. So you are going. You find it okay. relatively quickly. You find this uh, letter Chris opener. Her cow. You find a letter opener yes, and a ba and a uh, paperclip. Oh, he All asked right. what? Yeah, cow asked for uh, how many chairs there were. In this room. Yes. Uh, three. Uh, no, four. There's two on the opposite side of the desk, one sort of armchair that's sort of in a corner with a light next to it, and the chair behind the desk. Chris, if I actually explain how to lockpick, do I still have to roll? Yes. <laughs> Even though I can do it in real life? Uh, yes. So while, while you're doing that, let's, uh, let's all sit in a circle like we're actually discussing something in here that requires the door to be closed. In case, you know, an attendant comes over and is like, why the roof? Water room closed. The, right. the door is very visibly. It has some slits for windows, but that won't be too I'm, bothering. I'm going to now, in a little bit of detail, because detail does matter just a tiny bit. So Leon would lean down, crouch down, probably complain about his bad back because it's starting to get bad. And he's going to slowly, first off, unfold the paperclip. Of course. That's going to be painfully long because he's old. <sighs> but... He then, sl then sl basically jams the letter opener into the lock and twists to the right, just slightly, with his left hand. Using his right hand to now take the unfolded paperclip and basically poke upwards. He's checking the pens, yeah. Yes, you're familiar with this. Yes. Yeah, we've all watched Lockpicking Lawyer. I have more yeah. than Chris, too. Yeah, Lockpicking uh, Lawyer. I've watched more locking, lock picking right, lawyer so, than I ever uh, thought I would. Do I roll with a? What do I roll? Uh, <laughs> I roll, roll, roll security with a plus three. Plus I three. told you. <laughs> Sixteen. No, an additional plus three. So you have oh, a plus, plus two. Three? Three. Twenty-one. Sorry, right. twenty. Twenty. Tw unnatural twenty. An unnatural twenty. Yeah, you open it pretty easily. It's open. Slides right open. All right. And uh, what's inside? Inside there is a small black book. No labels. I, I um, pick it up. I, I pick it up. I uh, say... Hmm, write in it up. and I'll write back to you. <laughs> write in it and the person you've named will die. <laughs> no. It's death note. Uh, the book... both Tom Riddle Journal and Death Note. <laughs> <laughs> it mentions another person. They also die. <laughs> so, um, Tom... So, uh, I, I open oh, up the black book. I open up the black book. And I'm like, all right, boys. Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, um, I suppose we should start getting, start reading this, and I open it up. All right, so, you read- Close the drawer before you do this. I, actually, is so there anything else? Look, so it look no, like it's completely it. empty besides this book. So I'm going to close it again, and, um... I'm, going to, I'm trying to think here. Is, is there an easy way to just lock it again? Yeah, it would 
already be locked. It would lock automatically. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, do I gotta pick it again to then lock it? No. no, you do not have to reverse pick it. You're good. The book, you have it in your hands. Mm hmm. I'm opening the book and going As to you it. open it, you see a, uh, a key fall down. I, I, with my reflexes, instead of letting the key safely fall into the ground, um. We'll go to catch it. Smack the fucking shit out of it. Yeah, you just sort of smack it to the side, and it just sort of hits like a nearby wall, and it just sort of makes a like a, a light, a light like, you know, just a light tap. Yeah, yeah all right. I'll walk and over to the key and pick it up. You can't tell what the key's for. It all doesn't right. seem to be for the lock that you had. So, interesting. Now I'm going to look at the book. Considering we've just revealed a key, what does the book say? Well, a lot of it is really business related. It's got a lot of there's some of it is translations from French to English. There's a lot of stuff about like uh like it, it seems to be rough translations that he was working on through time to write like a letter. He would have like various mentions of appointments and one specific appointment mentioned is a visit to the casino. Uh and then it also, and then it also has some financial stuff uh, about like casino, uh, casino meeting uh, with. <clears throat> let me uh, let me find a name real quick. I have to look through my notes. <laughs> Gotta love fun notes. Uh, Alexandrine uh, Garreau. Uh, uh, casino meeting with Alexandrine Garreau. Alexander Maximilian. And that's one of the few standout things. There's also mentions of... Uh, there's a mention of a promotion for Josephine that he's like... Damn, even after like so long, she's doing well for herself. That's good. Like that kind of stuff. The man be like stalking her, stalking, stalking your mom, stalking, stalking your mom. Eating your mom. It's just sort of like an offhanded mom. comment in another thing about the casino. Mm. Sorry, sorry to lose big today. Good to know she still has money. See you later. Okay, is that all? You just like fucking it's a lot of it's a lot. Stuff. This is though this is with the quick skin. So, all right. So uh, the pay. I am going to. It's uh, getting to be about three p.m., uh, which is about. Oh, Jesus fuck. You've been, you've been here for a while, uh, and the open house is going to end in a few minutes. Ah, uh, boys, let's uh pack it up. This was a good uh talk. All right. So what did I miss in the 30 seconds I was gone? Uh, nothing. It's a finance book. Riveting. Alright boys, open house is probably boys. gonna end soon, so uh, let's set everything back the way it was, chair-wise, and uh, let's leave. Before I did leave, I heard something. I'll wait till we're outside the farm. Alright. Uh, we'll, we'll talk more at the hotel. All right, you guys exit your um, exit the uh, open house, uh, heading out the front the front door. Are you all returning to the hotel? Uh, I kind of want to end it here because it's been going on for three hours and I need sleep. But what are you guys' thoughts? I'm I'm kind of tired. Alrighty. And I have a bunch of things. You all exit the open house and that is where we'll leave off the session thank you all for coming i hope you had fun let's get down to business to defeat, defeat the, the demon all right so let's uh let's go down order 
Uh, Riley? Uh, well, we got off top in the beginning, but that was alright. Um, it worked out in the end. So... Had a good time. Alright. Um, Brandon? Um, we're... Really, uh, out here finding clues. Really out here finding clues? Not everything? Has all the answers. Mm, yes. And then that's everything. Got it. Cal? It really do be blues clues, you know? <laughs> Boring at times. Them just saying random stuff for like half an hour. And uh, you figure something out. And then you're like, wait, why is this important? Yeah, that was, that was the session. <laughs> really was. Damn. This really do be an investigation, huh? Yeah. Wolf? Uh. Is there a way to delete this guy? There we go. Um, <laughs> my... to leave it. So my main thought here was that I was thinking it was going to be another session one, which was a mess. And I was, I was prepared for that. It seemed pretty fun. But we actually got a lot done, even if it felt, even if story-wise we're almost nowhere near getting anywhere. We progressed, and that's fun. That's always fun. You guys had your bants in the beginning of the session. We recovered, and we did some did some actual stuff. So. Sorry. Yeah. How long until how long until Joker has to roll for nicotine addiction? Oh, he's already addicted. Um. Any questions, anyone? Anything you guys would like to ask me before you all go? I will take yeah, your whole training. Yeah, I want to talk to you about the beef. Stuff, training my character. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm fine with that. What's the ghost's name? Uh, I can't answer that. What, Yo. What's your opinion on me relating it to Until Dawn? I think that's funny. Is the ghost well, hot? Fight when the ghost. Uh, I don't think any ghost is actually hot. They might have uh, at one point hot? been hot. Nurse? Oh, uh, the the ghost. ghost that you played as in uh, Dead uh, by Daylight. Okay, that's different. She's got like a schoolgirl uniform on. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, shit. this mm. one was a schoolgirl. Chris, are you hot? Uh, no. Um, Darn. Do we get don't Chris, put yourself you down like that. Anything else, anyone? When it goes, yes or no? Uh, that would be if you ever went to North America. <laughs> when it Will went. We ever go to North America. Uh, Riley, when is the uh, North American expansion coming out? Never. Well, <laughs> I guess we're not I going to North go. America. Sorry, can I make the North American expansion? No. Bro, if I can never finish this concert of Europe, well, we'll never, we'll, we'll never get. To... Riley we'll can't even finish the. Riley. Hey, Riley, Riley, when's the African expansion coming out? The Dark Continent. I want That's funny, actually before the melting pot. Math. Yo, Dongo. Dongo. So, okay, the problem with ever doing the Dark Continent no, is well, that time to build a pyramid. The Dongo. diversity of just like Div too much. There, there's so Riley, much Riley's on know. Riley. Riley's on record saying he doesn't like diversity. Hype. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just like it's 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 too much to do a very comprehensive like D thing. diversity is too much. Don't. Hey Chris, you, can we just go exactly. to North America anyways? Uh, yeah, if I we, if I feel can, like can we bringing the camp, finger to Riley if I feel like listen, Riley, you're going to North America next week. Get something done. You're going to All Brazil. Right. I would send us I, to very I, different. Riley, you need to go work on shit, don't you? We're going across uh, Europe first. Yeah, if we're gonna do, we're gonna do an ex All estimate right. of Europe. Riley, good luck to you, man. In the first um, place we go to in North America would be Texas. No. Listen, you only have like seven hours of work to do, okay? You're fine. <laughs> you can complain to Chris when he wakes up in the morning, okay? Uh, right. After you finish everything. We're good. Yep. Alright, I all hope right. you all had fun, and that's where we're gonna end everything.